Hello and welcome back. It's that time again. Metal Gear Mondays have returned. Gonna be playing through all of MGS. Not this stream, obviously. But uh, I'm gonna be showing off the story and secrets and Easter eggs and anything else I can find slash remember. Still setting up my stream setup, so bear with me for just a second if you would. Did you guys see my Mother's Day video? I don't care Monday Madness is better. <laughs> Big Mama Mondays. I mean, that doesn't come until MGS4. So we got a ways to go before we get to see Big Mama. Okay. Do an illegal live stream of Big Mama's house? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds uh that sounds pretty risky for my channel. Gonna have to stick with playing the Metal Gear. Already missing Lauren and Boss Dad a little bit though. <laughs> yeah. They are, uh, they are a couple of gems. I think, let's see, I'm trying to decide where to put my cam. You know, bottom middle might not be terrible. I'm just worried about the captions. Now the captions are all gonna be at the bottom. Is it in 4-3? It... I don't think Metal Gear Solid is. Wait, it might be. I actually don't remember now. <laughs> I j okay, yeah. It is. Yeah, the corner should be fine. You're right. All right, I'll squish myself into the corner there. This title screen. Even the title screens are cool. Four or three games were made for streaming. I just need to stream in an ultra-wide, uh format and then I can be in the corners even on widescreen games. I hope the remake rumors are true, I still never played this game. I think those will always be hopeful, wishful thinking, and uh, I don't know. I don't know about the truth to him. I think people tend to start rumors like that um, just in hopes that uh, companies see, oh that rumor got a lot of traction, maybe we should do that for real. You need some dog food. Oh, you do. Hold on, don't, uh... Konami must hate money. <laughs> Alright, um, you guys are gonna listen to the beginning of the briefing, and I'm gonna get my dog some food. Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. 
That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff, and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike, and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Alright. That was the mission description. We've got Operation Outline, Members, and Detailed Information. But, we haven't even started playing. We're just like, you know, five minutes in. There is already an Easter egg here, or a bit of a secret. Um, if you simply skip all of the rest of this and head for exit, you can see a, a, a secret recording. Hi, Sammy. MGS predicted COVID because of the shot. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. The Iditarod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake. But this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file I'm no patriot. Agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. Listen to how he's you doing almost a villain's boy voice scout out there in Alaska. But you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. <laughs> Oh, 
What's wrong with Alaska? <laughs> Ain't nothing's wrong with Alaska. Just a little cold. Alright, and before we do the rest of the briefings, um, let's check out some, uh, some reading material. This is Previous Operations Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Since we won't be playing these um, as part of the series, they're uh, very much more dated. But um, uh, since we won't be playing them, they have provided a nice little summary of the uh, events. Metal Gear for the MSX. The year 1995, deep in South Africa, 200 kilometers north of Garsberg, Outer Heaven, an armed fortress nation established by the legendary mercenary who is feared in combat by both his friends and foes as a hero and lunatic. The Western nations have found out that a weapon of mass destruction that could rewrite, that could rewrite war history is under development at Outer Heaven. They have called upon the high-tech special force unit Foxhound to take care of the situation. In response to this order, Big Boss, commander-in-chief of Foxhound, sent Gray Fox, the man with the code name Fox, which is given to the best member of the unit. Operation Intrude and 313. After a few days, his last message being Metal Gear, Gray Fox is, miss is missing in action. Taking the situation seriously, the top men of the West again called for Foxhound. Big Boss selects Solid Snake, who has just recently joined Foxhound, as the agent and entrusts everything to him. Successfully making a solo infiltration to Outer Heaven, Snake got in touch with local Resistance members Schneider, Diane, and Jennifer. With their cooperation, Snake succeeds in rescuing Gray Fox. Gray Fox then laid out the terrifying facts about Metal Gear. Metal Gear was the development name of a nuclear warhead-equipped two-legged walking tank. It can walk through even the roughest terrains that would stop normal tanks. It can conduct local warfare by itself with unique weapons like its Vulcan cannon and anti-tank missiles. It was indeed a new type of weapon that can conduct a nuclear attack against any place on the face of the earth from any land surface. With Metal Gear, Outer Heaven was trying to establish its military superiority over the entire world. In order to destroy Metal Gear, Snake rescues Metal Gear's chief engineer, Dr. Petrovich, and his daughter, Ellen, who was taken hostage for her father to continue with his development. And here's from Dr. Petrovich how to destroy Metal Gear. However, as Snake approaches the heart of Outer Heaven and Metal Gear, well-designed traps are set all around Snake, as if all his actions are being leaked to the enemy. In the midst of escalating battle, the leader of the Resistance, Schneider, falls into the hands of the enemy, and Snake himself gets injured through the deadly battles with Outer Heaven's best mercenaries. But Snake's indomitable spirit leads him to the hundredth floor basement of the secret base where Metal Gear was developed. Evading the powerful defense system that wipes out all intruders, Snake ultimately succeeds in destroying Metal Gear. Snake tries to escape from Outer Heaven upon completing the mission. However, during the escape, he was confronted by one man, Foxhound Commander-in-Chief, Big Boss. Big Boss laughs at the astounded Snake and tells him of the truth about his mission. While serving as the Commander-in-Chief of Foxhound, Big Boss also ran a mercenary dis dispatch company, utilizing his connections and capital from his years as a merc. He was planning to build this company a larger military establishment, and he built Outer Heaven as its base. His purpose for sending the rookie snake to Outer Heaven was to cause information confusion against the West. However, Big Boss is miscalculated. He never thought that Snake would make it this far. Having lost Metal Gear, Big Boss activates the self-destruction system of the underground base. While the countdown to destruction continues, his scream echoes in the emptiness. You've gone too far. Too far! On the hundredth floor basement, the battle between two men commences free of ideology and politics. The armed fortress nation Outer Heaven collapsed. The impenetrable fortress made from the best military technology and occupied by the toughest mercenaries burned in flames. Behind him, the flames reached skyward as Outer Heaven fell, leaving Solid Snake all alone. Approach the line toward being more of an interactive book than a AAA action-packed video game. Hey, yeah, there's a lot of supplemental material here. 
Will we play MGS3? All signs point to yes. Hey, hey, snakes. Good to see you. Sriracha is currently doing her job. 1999. Oh, sorry. This is Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, the sequel. 1999. The world was facing an energy crisis. It was obvious that the supply of petroleum would run out faster than expected. However, the development of an alternate energy resource is far from completion. The price of petroleum has skyrocketed and the world economy is in confusion. The 21st century was expected to be one of chaos. Not sure what that is, snakes. One man's invention changed the entire situation. A Czech genius and biologist, Dr. Keo Marv, invented Oilix, a microorganism that refines petroleum to produce a highly purified form of petroleum. The world was filled with hope upon the discovery of this messiah to solve the energy crisis, but at the same time, the world entered a time of tension regarding this new algae. Just when the whole world's attention was drawn to Oilix and Dr. Marv, he gets abducted by someone and disappears. Nations began investigations immediately, and a name soon appeared. Zanzibar Land. Oh, multiplayer mode? No, um, I don't, uh, I don't think I have, like, isn't it a DLC? Don't you have to, like, purchase it? But yeah, no, I, I've never played it. Zanzibar Land was a democratic military regime that suddenly appeared in Central Asia in 1997. When their uprising took place, the CIS army formed around Russia and sends a suppressive unit immediately. Zanzibar land resists by gathering a band of mercenaries from nations around the world and fortifying most of its land. As a result, the CIS army was repeatedly defeated and Zanzibar land declared its independence. Due to the active role mercenaries played, this war was called the Mercenary War, and Zanzibar land was referred to as an armed fortress nation. A military nation with a group of strong mercenaries surrounded by a tough fortress. According to the latest information, Zanzibar is supposedly is armed with nuclear weapons. The whole scenario was crystal clear. By obtaining oilix in addition to nuclear weapons, Zanzibar land was trying to establish its economic and military superiority over the entire world. Concerned about the situation, the United States orders Roy Campbell, Commander-in-Chief of High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, to rescue Dr. Marv. Campbell was a former member of Foxhound. He brought back Solid Snake, the man who single-handedly brought down the armed fortress nation of Outer Heaven four years ago, and asks him to win back both Dr. Marv and Oilix. Successfully infiltrating Zanzibar land, and with the help of CIA agent Hori and others, Snake is able to go deep into the fortress and meet again with Dr. Petrovich, the chief engineer of Metal Gear at Outer Heaven. He too was abducted to Zanzibar land and was forced to develop another Metal Gear. He tells the surprised Snake of an even more shocking fact. Big Boss, the man Snake had defeated at Outer Heaven, turned out to be the general commander of Zanzibar land. Snake rescues Dr. Petrovich in cooperation with, Nis with Natasha, Dr. Marv's guard and former Czech international secret police agent, and then heads for the confinement facility deep in the fortress to save Dr. Marv. When Petrovich and Natasha crossed the narrow suspension bridge over the deep valley, a missile blew the bridge away. Natasha flies into the air because of the explosion. While unable to do anything to save Natasha, Snake starts hearing a well-known voice. Hey, Snake. We're good buddies. I can let you go. Just leave this place at once. Gray Fox. Snake sees Gray Fox controlling Metal Gear. The best soldier and foxhound who, after the fall of Outer Heaven, disappeared as if he followed Big Boss. Losing Natasha in front of his eyes and letting Petrovich being taken away, Snake screams, Fox, I will not give up. After a series of deadly battles with mercenaries, Snake finally gets to Dr. Marv's confinement facility. However, when he arrives, he is too late. He sees Dr. Marv's corpse and Petrovich, who could do nothing but just stand there. Petrovich tells Snake that Dr. Marv could not withstand the repeated tortures because of heart problems. Snake then receives an emergency call from Hori. The information she supplied was very shocking. Petrovich has been voluntarily visiting Zanzibar land to develop Metal Gear. The, the abduction of Dr. Marv was conducted under the directions of Petrovich himself. 
After the truth comes out, Petrovich attacks Snake, but Snake easily puts an end to him and obtains the structural plan of Oilix. While trying to escape, Snake is confronted by Metal Gear again, controlled by Grey Fox. The tremendous battle takes place in the underground base, and Snake finally succeeds in destroying Metal Gear. However, Grey Fox does not submit and challenges Snake to the final battle. In the midst of a minefield, Snake and Fox fight without any weapons, a fist-to-fist -fist duel involving no hatred or murder intent. During that weird moment of purity, the two are bound in forces transcending words and emotion. Snake wins the tough but pure battle against Grey Fox. However, there was some there was still was someone else Snake had to fight. Big Boss. Just like four years ago at Outer Heaven, Big Boss was waiting for Snake. One who has experienced the tension of battle can never leave the battlefield. I am the one giving you something to live for, and that is war. Snake is infuriated at the arrogant Big Boss. There's only one battle I have to fight. To free myself from you. To shatter the nightmare. Big Boss, I will kill you. With the structural plan of Oilix, Snake and Hori escape from Zanzibar land on a rescue helicopter. Snake once again saves the world. However, there is no smile on his face. Big Boss's last words keep ringing in Snake's head. Whichever wins, our battle does not end. The loser is freed from the battlefield, but the winner must remain there, and the survivor must live his life as a warrior until he dies. Snake then disappears into the white lands of Alaska, alone. And that brings us to this game. Snake screamed, Fox! <laughs> Gotcha, snakes. Yeah, and um, we'll we'll hear more about the code name Big Boss later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, I hope you're enjoying. All right, let's watch some of these briefing files. How about the infiltration method? Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Alright, Snakes. Um, let's try not to discuss spoilers in the chat, at least for the time being, because this might be some people's first time watching through the series. No worries, though. I could totally picture you as an advanced military unit guy, though, Red. Getting your briefing through the headset, ready to control a robotic soldier out in the field, getting it done smooth AF. Yeah. What's the time limit? 24 hours. <laughs> They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. So our time limit has already begun. In 19 more hours, they'll launch a nuke. <laughs> oh no, Cookie Man. <laughs> Do 
delay hasn't slowed you down one bit. All right, who's the person in charge of the operation? He's smoking. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Video Not conferencing. Yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational They really control did predict it. fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Hey, Proceeder. Wexel. <laughs> yeah, Wexel, uh, not many people know. If you, if you hold the B button, um, you can stop the, uh, the ass cheeks from making noise. It's true. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. And Nastasha's great because she's really interested in nukes. Don't forget to call Nastasha for the first time right at the end of the game so you get introduced when the mission is over. Yeah, and then yeah, when you do that, um, then you get to uh, you get to skip all the calls about Muff. <laughs> Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. <sighs> Meryl. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. Uh huh. He died in the Gulf War. And since then, I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. No real it's combat experience. Way. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. Received and psychotherapy. Not to be attracted to those of the friends. opposite sex. I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. 
I understand, Colonel. I don't know if I was imagining it, but it seemed like he was smiling a little bit at the end of that. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. <laughs> By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. She didn't really I respond to that. I'll call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. There might be some all of that. Yeah, do you think that's what they put in our vaccine, too? Do you think we can ask, ask to have that included with the vaccine? I should have. I already got mine. All right, detailed information. The hostages. The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? You said you wouldn't lie anymore, Colonel. The DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Hi, Cindy. You can actually see um, the DARPA chief and Kenneth Baker's profiles up in the top right of this menu. they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead. Free camera, I can control the camera here. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL? Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. Oh my god. I'm trying to camera change. I forget which one is camera change. Sorry, we're gonna have to listen to some of that again. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL. Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. They shouldn't give me camera control. It's a bad idea. Yeah, you can also see um, Big Boss's profile, uh, bottom middle. 
uh, Eleven and Cookie both pointed that out. Um, that is his uh, his portrait from the MSX game. Terrorists armament. What was it, How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. I wouldn't expect anything less from Foxhound. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. <laughs> the terrorists demand. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the same time, add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant it in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Chia no. Genetic strengthening. One of the greatest soldiers ever? The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes. And his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're gonna transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. Make it snakes an old man now, yeah. Become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? Hey there, Pod. Big Boss MGS5 Snake, thanks for the follow. Did you get a haircut, or is that the headset? No, it's it's haircut. It's it's much shorter now than it was before. Thank goodness Snake isn't a son of any big bosses. <laughs> yeah, that name uh, is very important to Snake. The sons of Big Boss. Hmm. Gotcha, I figured. Oh, did I, did I read what happened to Cindy? Oh, is it time to go to sleep? 
Good night, Cindy. Sorry, if you wrote what happened during your stream, I didn't see it. Might not have sent. Yeah, gotcha, Snake. <laughs> Cookie Man, what is that video? Where did you find that? <laughs> Alright, let's hear about the next generation special forces unit. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and a nuclear emergency surge team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NVC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Video game players. Don't forget, players. they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. <laughs> the interesting thing yeah, but like, is that no one enforces it. Conspired in this attack. MGS says in fourth wall shenanigans. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, Procedure uh, 11. I, I do like checking out all this. I can, I can tell why they tucked this away in the menu. It's a lot of footage before you play the game. And a lot of people, especially back in the PS1 days, wanted to buy a game and play that game. You know, they, they weren't looking for cutscenes and text and, you know, backstory and whatnot. To video game players jab. Yeah, that's actually a, a big theme of uh, this game and the next game, is um, whether or not simulations count as experience. Like, the, the value of real experience. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. All geniuses. Even the existence of this with gene IQs over 180. The secret of the highest all order. of them. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. <laughs> well, Pod, I wasn't even very good at that simulation, so I, I wouldn't say that's a very good uh, indicator. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure this Raj knows it's me? Okay, I will. She probably won't be joining us um, physically on stream. She likes to join the chat. Her work days are, uh, are pretty stressful and she likes to relax when she gets home. Let's talk about the unit Foxhound. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. 
There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Nobody fighter. told this guy how to pronounce shaman. Folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? <sighs> yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. You can actually see um, in the bottom right of this image uh, the portrait of Foxhound. And uh, a little bit up from that, another portrait of a, an important person. Some guy we forgot about. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. The details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <laughs> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Hey, Violet. Whose mom are you? My brother. <laughs> All right, so that's Liquid Snake. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. <laughs> Snake cuts his long hair so he doesn't look like, uh, uh, as much like Liquid Snake. All right. I think that's it for the supplemental materials. I think it's time to uh, begin the game. I'm gonna play on hard. Hmm, should we? You don't get the radar on hard. No, you know what? I'm gonna play on normal. I'm not proud. Oh, I think I have the wrong disc in right now. Extreme or nothing. <laughs> right now that stinks. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is about getting the story. Not uh, showing off how good I am at this game. Because I'm really not. <laughs> Is there a noise? Stay alert. If you 
Wexel, I had the same experience as you. Five was my first um, Metal Gear game. Oh, Duke, okay. There he is. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. get a hang for a uh, thing of sneaking in here oh press the wrong button it's square to grab people <laughs> no don't don't kill me no <laughs> uh, hey I didn't warm up for this so Probably should have checked that. Yeah. Square is to grab people. Do all the guards have a 180 IQ? Absolutely, yes. They're all geniuses. Well, let's see. Oh! I stepped in the water there, which made a little noise. Jump back into the water here, and I think there's stuff. I don't remember though. Yeah, there we go. There's a ration down here. Go straight to the forklift. No, it's okay. We don't need any. We don't need any back seating. But thank you. This is all just part of the experience. I want to. I want to use this room for what it's for to get used to the sneaking again. MGS One is a very different game. If you crawl across the noisy floor, you won't make any noise. <laughs> no worries, Cookie. I know you have the best of intentions. It is a very good strat. Oh, watch out for this. Uh oh. Too many guys over there. What was that noise? Oh, we heard the uh the dead guard. What was that noise? Uh oh. Now I'm leaving footprints. Got him. Those reflections are big holes of the texture in it. Oops. Wow, he didn't see me? Okay, I must blend in really well here. Alright, goodbye.
a left break the neck and then do a flip into the water. And just three is not this forgiving. No, it is not. All right, scuba gear is off. There he is. Our boy, Solid Snake, with his new haircut. You know, for having cut his hair himself with, like, medical scissors, he did pretty well. banned from message boards because he's such a hater. Also, did I skip a cutscene? Because I was fairly certain that submarine cutscene plays again. When you start the game. But maybe you have to watch it uh, at the menu. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. You got excellent. How's that sneaking suit working? If you take a long time to get on the elevator, um, hard to move. he actually it's designed to prevent like, uh, chastises you. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Two F-16s. A couple of bothersome flies. D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. Looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Because one guy is leaving in a helicopter? Okay. He's like 30, what did they expect? I mean, he's also a clone. And clones don't live a whole lot longer past that. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> you can tell, uh, because no, of the small bones in his ear. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is.
snake your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle <laughs> out my Completely uncalled for. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Is this a dating minigame? <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. Who, who do you think is best girl? If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. They've got pineapples? In Alaska? What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Did she wink? She might have. Okay. What is it, Snake? Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Well, I'll think about it. Everybody is horny for each other in this game. Um, okay. I believe I skipped a cutscene. Because I thought you, uh, thought you got to see that cutscene when you started a new game, but you don't. We're gonna reset and go, uh, and go see it. Snake, pick a girl, just one. <laughs> pick the old man, <laughs> Colonel. You're still the Colonel to me, Colonel. It's before the title screen. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I thought um, I thought it also played when you started the game. So there's no point watching it on the title screen, but uh, there is. So we're gonna watch it now. It's a little bit out of order. But just a, <laughs> Snake's having a flashback to how he got here, okay? That's what we're doing. Little Colonel of Colonel. <laughs> It's a whale. Wait, no, that's a submarine. Sorry, I thought there was a whale. 
a demo of this game where all the actors used fake names. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Launched in a torpedo. High tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities, Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter, Decoy Octopus. Master of Disguise, Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman, and Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Do you think, um... Oh, I forget who the voice actor for Roy Campbell is. Do you do you think he cringes when he hears that line? <laughs> if he ever like sees this game, he's just like, "It's shaman. It's pronounced shaman. Why didn't I know it was pronounced shaman? I've never heard that that word before. I'm an adult." <laughs> Surprisingly common how many words voice actors don't know how to pronounce. He said it right the first yeah, I bet he said it right the first time and the sound guy demanded a reread. <laughs> yeah, no, it's supposed that thought that line's supposed to rhyme. <laughs> Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. I wonder if he said it right in Twin Snakes. I think he did. Sniper Wolf's the child of Venom and Quiet, the timeline and ethnicity matches. Still don't know what a, a shaman is like a like a spiritual person. Let's see if we can get this. Nice. Surveillance camera? <gasps> Surveillance camera? You mean this place has security? What the hell? Let's throw this. Disables the camera, allows us to get a stun grenade. Pretty cool. <laughs> You're right, Snake. I think we say shaman in the UK, I'm not sure anymore. 
he makes a big point of saying shaman. Really? Hold on. Okay, I gotta see this. 252. Skies. Vulcan Raven. Giant and shaman. <laughs> he does. He, he, he really is like, this time I'm making it right. Yeah, they had to re-record all of the dialogue for, um, for the remake. Um, because like Eleven was saying, they were, they were not recording this in a sound studio. They were recording it in, a, in an apartment. And with the higher fidelity audio that they could use on the GameCube, you could hear traffic outside. Okay, we gotta get into that truck. So that's got the SOCOM in it. They got some really cool dramatic camera angles for when you're crouching, hiding and stuff. Unfortunately, our SOCOM doesn't have a suppressor on it right now, so it's a pretty dangerous weapon to be using. I think you get discovered if you're there, but I kind of don't want to figure it out. Can you not... Uh... Oh wow, you can't turn the camera while you're, um, while you're leaning. And there's no tiptoes. The copy twin stakes is so much easier because it has MGS2 physics. Yeah, you can you can first person aim in that game. I had no idea what a huge series this would become. Yeah, it's just just some guy's uh, little pet project. Oh, really? Okay. Shoot. I think we're we're kind of just dead here if this happens. Unless they don't understand how stairs work. Oh, they do. <laughs> Didn't even get the footprint line. All right, we'll go back for it. <laughs> I don't have any of my stuff. We gotta do that again. Uh, no, not. Oh, don't get stuck. Okay, we're good. Go, go, go. Uh, no, wait. This isn't the right pattern. Go now. Got it. Those are useful. Now get in the truck before he sees you. I was a kid. Getting those chaps was so hard. Okay, so... That's right. I think we gotta go around this way. Alright, so walking through the snow here is a little bit dangerous. Huh? Can... Whose footprints are these? Huh? What was that noise? Huh? Whose footprints are these? Hundred and eighty IQ, you guys, and he will follow you in a circle around this area. Okay, we're not gonna try and walk past the camera. I'm gonna be smart this time. Smart. A surveillance camera? Yes, a surveillance camera. He seems so shocked. 
I think knowing what he knows now, uh, David Hayter would probably not have read that line that right that way. More of a surveillance camera. It's like, ah, yes, I knew this would be here. I'm recognizing it, but the way he says it, it's more like, oh gosh, they've got surveillance cameras? It was smart to let you break his neck because he has a terminal disease. <laughs> Wish I could stay up and follow this world domination by Snakehead's journey to its completion, but work awaits and sleep is needed. Oh, you thought they were actually going to spray for rats in the vents? <laughs> How you doing, bud? Okay. Oh, yeah, give me that. Oh, it's a ration. Do I? Oh, yeah. I already have full. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get some codec calls, shall we? Good. You've got yourself a weapon. To use it, First, hold down the R2 button to enter weapon mode. Then, select the weapon you want with the directional button. After you've selected the weapon you want, let go of the R2 button to exit weapon mode. The weapon you selected should appear in your hand. <laughs> to use the weapon, follow the directions displayed in the window. If you use the R1 button, you can equip your weapon more quickly. While you're barehanded, press the R1 button to equip the last weapon you used. Press the R1 button while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun needlessly, or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. I actually didn't know about that procedure. Let's go check that out. I should have cleared that whole area. I wonder if this is close enough to the camera. Maybe if we were on the same level as it. One four one. Hold on, what was it? One four one five. Oh. There should be a blind spot underneath that camera. You'll be okay if you stay flat up against the wall. <laughs> no worries, Kiki man. It's fine. No, no, no. no. That's not backseating. I was just saying, like, I know that there are that there are perfect ways to get through these rooms. I don't know them, and that's not going to be what this playthrough is about. Um, you know, you're, you're going to see lots of alerts. <laughs> I'll just tell you that now. We're, we're getting the full Metal Gear experience. You lay down and close your eyes long enough, you'll fall asleep. <laughs> asleep. <laughs> oh, no worries, Eleven. Um, there is actually a way to get the Meryl code um, in this version of the game, uh, in like the PS3 digital version. I do already have the SOCOM. I don't have the suppressor, though. I don't think you get the suppressor until much later. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. <laughs> but only about nukes. I am also nukes. a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Security cameras? Duh. That is the wireless type which transmits visual data to a central security area. If you use chaff, you will be able to disable it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
11. Snake was weirdly professional with her. <laughs> yeah, you know what, 11? It's probably it's probably an ironic thing. Like, Snake doesn't like women who smoke. <laughs> Security cameras? Duh. That is the wireless type. Now he's stealing his lighter. Right underneath that camera. You'll be okay if you stay flat up against the wall. There should be a blind oh, spot. Okay. Looks like the camera takes a pretty high priority on codec calls. What's up, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. <laughs> if you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Colonel's literally explaining what a camera is to Snake. He just doesn't know. It can take pictures. All the only thing Snake knows about is what is a husky and what is a sled. Oh, um, let's get away from the security camera so we stop getting that call. Operations Command Pistol. <laughs> it's a 45 caliber pistol with what are you talking about, Cookie Man? It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. <laughs> Red, don't look. You have a wife and a duke. <laughs> it's true. I must rise above such temptations. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shiado Island go. was built at the beginning of this century. It was made only to temporarily store the nuclear warheads. Why? If they wanted to dispose of them, why wouldn't they just dismantle them right away? They cannot do that. You see, when you dismantle a warhead, you still have nuclear materials that must be stored. At this point, all of the nuclear material storage facilities are way past capacity. But they could not stop dismantling weapons while at the same time pushing START too. So you're telling me that this base was Push and built start? So temporarily avoid being in Should I do that? Start too? Most people think that we live in a safer world now. But with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear terrorism has increased tremendously. It's ironic, isn't it? Hey, just be thankful that no one's supposed to be French in this game pod. That's a SS sniper wolf. <laughs> After the START II accord was signed on January 3rd, 1993, Russia and the U.S. reduced their strategic nuclear warheads right, to between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads each. They completely dismantled all of the ICBMs which contained MIRVs. As a result of that, there are over 15,000 dismantled nuclear warheads waiting to be disposed of. They keep giving you an opportunity to get the out of this. are supposed to be dismantled at Pantex or some other dismantling facility, but there are limits to how many warheads they can process. We just do not have the capabilities to dismantle all the warheads that are out there. They're like, do you want to stop hearing now? No. Over 200 tons of plutonium and over 1,000 tons of high-grade uranium <laughs> okay. have been removed from nuclear weapons so far. 
and on top of that, nuclear reactors all over the world continue to produce and leak spent nuclear fuel. By the way, all of this According is true. Estimate, this is not fake, made up for the game. 2005, America alone was storing over 50,000 tons of nuclear material. There is no room left in our nuclear material storage sites. That is why we need nuclear weapon disposal facilities. That, that's why Natasha calls are so like boring and unrelated to the story. It's because they're all just true. They're all just actual true, like, this is how nuclear weapons work, and this is what we're doing with all the nuclear weapons that we're not throwing at each other. You can't hug your children with nuclear arms. <laughs> if it's true, it's boring. I want to I hear about the genome soldiers. This is dumb. I run the jail. Over 200 tons of plutonium and over 1,000 tons of high-grade uranium Did he already, have been removed she already said this, from right? nuclear weapons so far. She already said this. And on top of that nuclear reactor... Yeah, I think she already said this. Okay. All right, that means I'm going to stop talking to you now. Campbell, what do you have to say? Snake, your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. <laughs> you didn't waste any time in getting spotted, did you? Too oh. bad. Looks like your cover is blown. Proceed with extreme caution. Oh. First, you've got to rescue the DARPA chief. Infiltrate the building in front. Look for some way to get in. That's a call about how you fucked up and got seen in the first area. <laughs> that bitch is so annoying, wasn't she, Snake? Snake, your mission is oh. to... Okay. All right. Oh yeah, it's triangle to first person in this game. I forgot. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts oh, around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. All right, uh, here's a fun fact. If you just uh, sit here and do nothing, for uh, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, Liquid will come back in the hind. Um, and weird thing about that is when he comes back, he's wearing a clown outfit, which he didn't leave in. It's a, it's a kind of an Easter egg about how uh, Liquid is afraid of clowns and believes that uh, he should dress up as the thing that scares him so that it will scare other people. And also, none of this is true. I made it all up. I can't do the missions if you keep fucking calling me. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> I want to believe. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. It can confuse electronic equipment. <laughs> It will be useful against machines Hot. which depend upon electronic sensors. Good. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you automatically go into intrusion oh, mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward and down he's, he's to retreat. Us about intrusion mode. You can also no, press right or left to Sounds face fun. either direction. You'd think that'd be snake's default yourself. mode. Pay attention to the enemy's actions <laughs> and make it's sure you're not discovered. Hi. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will I'm still cool follow me. you. I'm hot. Snake. First, you've got to find the DARPA chief. See, Look for clues. <laughs> oh god, Jim. That's your snake. Oh. It coughs. 
So I heard you were looking for a water bottle. Yes. <laughs> Did something happen to mine? I lost mine, so I took yours to work. <laughs> so I really need to oh, find wow. mine. It's it's totally empty. I drank it all. I had a new carpet fitted today. It's miles comfort uh, comfier than a wooden floor. Nice. Yeah, living room it's much nicer to have the the carpet. Carpet yeah. floors can be nice, but I mean, I guess they're easier to clean. But... The Metal Gear water bottle. I was diligently using it all day. Eleven. I drink so much water. I drink so much water, dude. I did. I drink all of the water. I left none for out. I'm maximally hydrated. One might say. I will say. I also booked my makeup preview day for next Tuesday, so I'll try to show it to you guys afterwards and you can tell me what you think. <laughs> Alright, nice. Get some water. Metal Gear water bottle. Put up, put up on. Can you see that? Sort of? <laughs> it's got the logo on it. Duke, did you take my water uh, bottle? Cheers. You take it. I can't find my orange water bottle anywhere. It's not my family's house, it's not in the car, it's not at home. It's definitely your family's house. Yeah, I can't find it. You brought it, you brought it there, yeah. took it out of the car, and yeah. then we didn't know where it was. Okay. I'll look more thoroughly tomorrow when we go over for DD. <laughs> one of them probably stole it and took it somewhere. That's you true. Gotta interrogate Becca them. could do that as revenge because she left her water bottle here. And I didn't see Becca, so. The guy who fitted it in, it looked a lot like Johnny. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Metal Gear Solid 5 Snake. On the phone. It's you. But with more words attached. I am Did you see my, my Mother's Day video? I haven't yet. I just saw it posted. I'm going to go watch it. Yeah, you got to watch it. Yes. Did I... you show it on stream? No, but I posted it in my Discord and a couple other Discords in the Doom Discord and on the Doom subreddit and I tweeted it <laughs> Nice! Hey, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. I'm, I'm Such a networking. I watched it. Love it. You should watch it publicly so I can get more attention. Just show it off at school. <laughs> By the way, let me show you the um, options for dinner tonight. You can pick. Okay. I know you probably ate fairly recently, but... <laughs> Did you love it, Cookie Man? I think I might start using Angroig. <laughs> that one was that one was a personal favorite. Um, that and... Uh, <laughs> uh, globule. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Machine Gun Mac was my favorite. That was, yeah, that one was really good. I was surprised at how creative she got. And for by the way, I did, I gave her like no extra information on what those were. It was just like like I I was gonna, but she was just going. Like I would show her one, she'd just go, um, Hulkoid. <laughs> That's so cute. Alright, dear. We've got chicken katsu with roasted broccoli and ginger rice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make that in the rice cooker. Uh, steak with mushroom cream sauce, mm. plus roasted potatoes and carrots, and pork sausage. Oh no. A rich. Orchette. Orchette. And then bolognese. Is that how you pronounce that? Bolognese, yeah. Bolognese. I think so. With zucchini and parmesan. Um, Taco pizza. <laughs> Chicken katsu. Nice. The bottom two? Yeah. Okay. Whichever one you want. Nice. Hover King? <laughs> King Hover? Yes, she did. Like, she knows that they're related. The other one that I only noticed when I was editing it is she called the Pain Elemental Skull Candy and the uh, the Lost Soul Skull Fire. She knew they were related. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, these are both good. I think I'm going to do the pork sausage. Um, nice. Uh, but, uh... Is taco pizza pizza with tacos on it, or is it like I think it's taco tacos with pizza ingredients. 
I don't even like taco in the shape of pizza. Make a simple recipe for pizza. I say we periodic table today. <laughs> That's why we have mod pizza in our area. You can it's like Subway but for pizza. Anyone else have a mod pizza in their area? I don't know how far around the country it's gotten at this point. Four sausage taco pizza. Why are you guys making me hungry? Uh what time do you wanna have dinner? Seven thirty? Earlier? Um it's seven thirty. Seven thirty. Has. Are you hanging out? I had to shower and take care of some. No worries stuff. if you're not. Yeah. You're so sweet and kind and patient. Oh, yeah? I love you. I love you too. I wish it was after dinner time. <laughs> you can just make the meal. And it'll be cold when it's time for you to eat it. Yeah, but you don't get any other meals. So you haven't eaten all day today after a hard day's work, so you should make the meal. I'll make it soon. Um, then I'll make your plate and then cover it with aluminum. Don't wait too long. Love you. Great. Oh. <laughs> Take for it, after girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gross. I like how she called an imp enemy. Yeah, I was I was like she just went with enemy for the imp. It's just it's enemy. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> fourth meal <laughs> snake first you've got to find the DARPA chief look for clues look for glue Colonel I don't think there's any glue in here yeah the um, the intrusion mode is very dark and cramped I can see why this would be scary as a kid snake this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor. So Benedict McDonald Kazuhira Miller? I'm in retirement just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Try smoothing out your brain, Snake. If it's too wrinkly, all the information can get crumpled. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. So Miller's role in this game is basically just to break the fourth wall and tell you how to play a video game? I love him for that. Can we, can I have new bed sheets? Yeah, for some reason our bed sheets, like the actual sheet that goes on the bed, not like the the one that we cover ourselves with, um, it just started sprouting holes. And I'm not talking like little teeny, like, oh no, there's a tiny hole. Like it just ripped open in multiple places in the space of like a week. I don't know why. People's reaction speed is slow. It like hit its expiration date. And so is their judgment. Big if you're feeling drowsy, you should get some sleep. There you go. The masterful expertise of McDonald Miller. If you're tired, sleep. Easy peasy. It's also important to be able to control your bodily functions. You never know when a long demo is about to begin. So make sure you're prepared to sit in front of the monitor for a long time if necessary. Demo. 
uh, was the word for cutscene. Cutscene wasn't um, wasn't as like common of a word back then. <laughs> so <laughs> that's basically the game devs being like, "There's some really long cutscenes in this game." <laughs> it's never a good idea to fight on too full a stomach. It'll make you logy, maybe even sleepy. You should wait 30 minutes after eating before you play. I waited like 30 minutes after eating before I played. Eh, maybe like 20 Where minutes. Where I come from, a soldier who loses his head in combat is called a target. <laughs> Not gonna elaborate on that one. If I eat while I play, does that give me infinite time? No, then you're maximum wrong. Military sea rations place an emphasis on calories. I actually haven't heard that word, Rex, so I'm looking that up. Some other type of nutritional supplement, such as vitamins or minerals. Dull and heavy in motion or thought, sluggish. Yeah, I guess that's one that just fell out of the, the, uh, the vernacular. The weather in Alaska is very hard to predict. It can change on a dime. A lot of people say it's the worst weather in the world. The worst weather in the world. Over two, you guys. Over two. That could be three or more. Sorry, the solar ton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? Don't give up, Snake. Huh? I moved the Dharma Chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Security camo. <laughs> God, they're coming into the vents. No, Cookie Man, I realize now, now that you've like, drawn attention to it, I realize what that line means. That line doesn't mean, oh, they're gonna, like, they're gonna come in um, to the vents. That means... Oh, don't worry, like, player, don't worry about getting into the vents. All the covers are off right now. So you won't have to, like, unscrew anything. I just went backwards, I think. Wait, did I? Wait. No, I didn't. Did I? I didn't turn all the way around. No, I'm not going backwards. I got confused. Yeah, 
Hey, Vex. Press the action button to drop down. What if I don't want it? There's a thing over here. What's this? Ration. I already have maximum of those. Which one's the action button again? Circle. <laughs> oh god, no, it doesn't help. This hill, the radar equipment developed in the 50s, will work. Lol, sorry. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Gotta be careful around here. This floor is, uh, is noisy. You can try and go, uh, s like slowly, like this, to get around, uh, making noise. You can also crawl to avoid making noise. But there's another th way that we can avoid making noise. See how Snake's stance resets when we take out a grenade? Well, if you rapidly take out and put away the grenade, Snake never sets his foot on the ground and so never makes a noise. Action button is such a PS1 term. Yeah, so we can avoid making noise on this noisy floor just by... Also don't need to spend a chaff on that. This room might have something dangerous in it. If you pull the pin on the grenade, you won't make a noise. Really? Okay. Let's call Nastasha about the smokes. Nuclear weapons, oh, no. nuclear reactors, hazardous waste. We are constantly being exposed to plutonium and other radioactive materials. Compared to that, smoking seems not so bad, no? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I don't think pulling the pin works in this game. I think eventually the grenade will just explode in your hand. <laughs> It's also important to be able to control your bodily functions. You never know when a long demo is about. Already heard that. Are you smoking? Yeah, so what? Didn't you know that cigarettes contain benzopyrene, a chemical that leads to lung cancer? We now know that when benzopyrene enters the body, it changes to benzopyrene diolipoxide, BPDE and attaches to the receptors on the P53 gene, the gene which causes lung cancer. The BPDE <laughs> attaches to the P53 gene in three specific locations and causes precancerous changes to the lung <laughs> tissue. You know a lot about science. You're right, but You don't know how good a cigarette tastes in the morning. Wow. I think that was a swipe at the Russian lady. I can't remember if there are lasers in this room or not. I thought there were. If you have the smokes out, um, the smoke that you're emitting will show you the lasers very faintly. works too. The thermal goggles. Thermal goggles will show you uh, lasers. Hmm. 
Did you hear if you read about my glasses Zero tomorrow? goggles work by thermal imaging. Instead of by amplifying light like the night vision goggles, they'll work just as well in complete darkness. Nice Not cookie. Only that, they can also penetrate optic stealth systems. They can, they can what? You will be able to spot claymores too. But they will tire your eyes out, so do not use them too much. We should put quiet suit on snake. And you'd have a, a real uh, a real breathable snake. Beats of guards when you're in intrusion mode. What? He saw me after I got him. I'm just gonna kill this guy. If everybody's dead, um, your uh, your timer goes down much faster. It would increase the ass clap. We call them opticians. Averns have decided my ass should rest up to the point where I'm found a negative seven and negative eight. Super thick lenses. Yeah, you know what? Super thick lenses. Oh, what? Hey, stop it. I'm looking at vents. <laughs> Fuck you. I thought all the vent covers were supposed to be off. change okay I'll have to do this portion again that's okay use the blind spot underneath the camera at those without being seen. Cool technique. Bad. No, it's okay. It's okay to say swear words. Uh, yeah, you can't go down here. We don't have the key card required to open that door. Oh, that's right, we can't go down this way either. We do have to go all the way around. That kind of sucks. Why don't we save after getting that stuff? Successfully made Austria part of your empire of France? Yes. It's a good thing, right? They were uh, willingly annexed, right? We found out where the DARPA chief is. With his nanomachine transmitter, he should show up as a green dot on your radar when you get close. Try to find him. Come on, Snake, you can do it. 
That sounded less like, uh, less like she was, like, rooting for me and more like she was trying to encourage me to, like, actually do it. Go, like, come on, Snake, you could do it. If you just put your mind to it, come on. Going around the edges of rooms, obviously, is a pretty good strategy for trying to remain stealthy. Always important to keep cover in mind. Try to observe the guard's patterns. Oh, he turned all the way around. That was unfortunate. Apparently they don't know that I was here. It was just that one guy. Okay. Lots of doors we don't have the clearance to open yet. If you press the elevator button more than once, it actually calls the elevator faster because uh, Kojima likes that superstition. But if you press the elevator button more, it'll go faster. Brown plant lamp. <laughs> yeah, you think uh, Snake is really good at, like, getting up in the middle of the night and not waking anybody up? You'd have to be Solid Snake to in order to do that. I finished watching the Doom Mother's Day. Holy heck, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was good stuff. I liked that video. Use the elevator to change floors. To select the floor you want to go to, use the control panel inside the elevator on the left. Press up or down on the directional button to choose the floor. Then press the action button to confirm or the X button to cancel. Nobody, Be nope. careful. The elevator won't work in either alert mode or evasion mode. Nobody tell him I already did it. He likes to feel important. Spent years trying to find a rhythm to make traffic light crossings go faster. Use the elevator. Oh. You found out where the DAPA chief is. Come on, Snake, you can do it. You can do it. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your. You already said that. The nuclear weapon. Oh, wait, I... I skipped that one. That was a real one. The nuclear weapon okay, there we go. She'll say it again. On Moses Island. Wait, no, I, we've already... No, we've already read all this. Heard it. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. The dead inside driver. Metal Gear, hey Esper. Yeah. Wall's too thick, we can't knock to him. That's a cool little Easter egg. If you uh, hug that wall, you can see him. 
snake. If you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. <laughs> yeah, Snake, you're right. That's not a real thing, is it, Cookie Man? What? Blind and deaf people. Not him. Well, if it's not him, I guess we're going to turn around and go back. She is doing those sit-ups awfully fast, though. We're an anti-piracy check with this game that involves someone's codec number being in the manual for the game. Yes, um, on the box art for the game, uh, there was uh, Meryl's codec code, and uh, later, we'll definitely get to it today, um, somebody will ask us to find it on the back of the CD case. So if you didn't buy the game and you didn't get an official CD case, you would never know um, how to contact Meryl. And the game would end just after the first boss fight, which is like an excellent demo length. So you get to do some sneaking, see some cutscenes, get some like real intrigue. You'd fight one boss, and then they'd be like, all right, now purchase the game. <laughs> now she's doing some push-ups. But not just any push-ups, one-handed push-ups. Pretty impressive. Laughs in internet. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. that kid who got a pre-owned copy with generic replacement case. Yeah, you'd never know. You know about the anti-piracy system they implemented in Spyro 3? I... I love anti-piracy, like, video game stuff. You know, Easter eggs and the like. Not actual... Yeah. <laughs> Let me let me say I love the uh, the ways that software developers got around it in the old days, but uh, no I um, I can't remember. Remind me, Pod. What was it? Love anti piracy stuff, but I also love piracy. That's right. Can't we play both sides? A thousand dollars and some checks on the side. Now she's doing some stretches, getting her getting her leg above her head. Look at that. Crazy. So if you keep going back and forth and reloading this area, fun little Easter egg, she does different exercises. Um, she has three different exercises, but if you go back and forth a fourth time, something happens. Something about deleting important items in your inventory that locked you out of beating the game. I love Dune Ha! <laughs> That's funny. You didn't... <laughs> no, now it's a real quote. Now everyone knows. There we go. 
And of course, since uh, since we can't resist, let's go back and forth a fifth time. See what happens then. <laughs> Look, it's just it's more comfortable that way. All right, anyone who's exercised for for any period of time realizes that gosh, this would be so much easier without all these clothes on. You know, you, you get you get too warm. You need to like stretch, and you're clothing materials and stretchy enough like it's just it's functional like ring fit with nothing but the ring strap <laughs> oh sweet esper i will definitely check that out after stream thank you No one ever says that. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, the <laughs> the grate here is positioned in like such a perfect way as to automatically censor her. And it's funny. You'd think like, no, you just got the perfect spot, right? Watch when you press the when you press the first person button and you're over the grate, it'll actually like move you into place. Watch, press it. It moves you. It moves you into place so that you're in the perfect spot for that grate to just make sure you're uh, not looking anywhere you shouldn't be. Which, of course, Snake would not. It looks like the chief is being held in a cell. Find some way to get in there. Hurry up and get him out. Jogging in my boxers got me on a list. It looks like the chief is. Yeah, okay. I don't think you can actually get any calls about, uh. about Meryl here. My voice to text just misgendered her. <laughs> Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Close attention to what the DARPA chief the says to Snake. Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear? Gear? No, just Metal Gear itself. Can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. <laughs> so that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? 
I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. It's Metal Gear in 3D. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between ArmsTech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already... <laughs> Shag warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Hi, Johnny. But I <laughs> thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a All right, pal. pay attention. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords. To what the DARPA chief yes. says. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card game. Card keys. They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Mm. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? <laughs> what is it? Snake is just like, ew, stop touching me.
Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete it's file. Me. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this I'm in op, this game. But you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Security level me. Um... Hold on, I know why that didn't work. Uh... Gosh darn it. Um, Soraya, Soraya, stay by the computer. Are you by the computer? Are you, are you at the computer? Let me know if the computer is near you currently. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to give you back your points. Do that again. Okay, I gave you back your points. Do it again. Because that should have made a sound. Cheers, Seb. Can't because of cooldown. Shoot! I forgot. Hold on, you guys are gonna be so impressed. You guys are about to be so impressed right now. Just you wait to be impressed. Okay, do it. Tomodachi time. Did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I don't think I should, Snake. That sounds like a bad idea. Cheers, Cookie. <laughs> Even Duke's getting some water. Okay, there we go. I, fi I fixed it. It works now. Great. All right, let's continue playing the game. We'll do. We'll do Tomodachi check at the end. You can. Uh... <laughs> I think. Uh... <clears throat> I think the guard. Just uh, got got a little bit there. If you. You kneel down next to the body. You can get some cool camera angles here. Set that up via Leah. Yeah. Sorry, Steve, yeah, Bex, I did. But it looks like the rescue was a failure. There's no reason to stay in that cell anymore. Snake, get out of there and go to the second floor basement. You've got to rescue the president of arms tech, Kenneth Baker, before the terrorists find out his detonation code. Toilet. They were conducting exercises with this new Metal Gear prototype? Is that what Good the luck said? To boot it every yeah. stream. What the hell? Please. So you know about Metal Gear. Just rumors. <laughs> I heard it is some kind of walking tank that can deliver an accurate nuclear strike from any terrain. Mountains, deserts, swamps, wherever. But you are the real expert on Metal Gear, aren't you, Snake? Yeah, I guess I am. But what about the PAL system that the DARPA chief mentioned? It is a device attached to a nuclear weapon system to prevent the missile from being armed or launched. Usually, a secret detonation code or combination is necessary to launch the missile. According to the chief, there are two codes, and the terrorists already know one of them. The other code? If the terrorists find out that one too. Yeah, I've got to hurry and rescue President Baker. What is this emote? That is J.K. Simmons. 
uh, the best actor of all time fight me. If you disagree. Don't just fight me for no reason. You say the DARPA chief is dead? Yeah. According to Naomi, it was a heart attack. It couldn't be. Well, it looks like all you can do now is find Kenneth Baker, the president of Arms Tech. He's in the second floor basement, isn't he? Yeah, on the other side of that wall that was cemented over. Okay. Good luck, Snake. You can do it. Sometimes I refer to this community as the PAL system. J.K. Simmons, the dude who wrote Harry Potter. Poor man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission. Sounds like a good idea to me. All right, well, uh, actually, my door opened. Um, not sure how that happened. Seems to be a dot of some sort uh, outside. Can I press up against this wall? Hold on. Let's just try and... Huh. What is what is that out there, you think? Eh? Probably nothing important, right? Hi, Meryl. How you doing? That's a nice outfit you got there. You look just like one of them. Hey, whatever happened to, uh, to, the, to that... Uh, oh. Uh-oh. You hadn't saved him yet. <laughs> Take me home, John. Don't move. <gasps> Who could have seen this coming? So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! She's trembling. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! He's bluffing one of them, are you? to try and get her to look at her safety and away from him. Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Oops. Oh, I'm trying to use the, the wrong button to move. Look at her, she's just trembling. She won't shoot. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! So brutal. Whoops. Uh, kills that Meryl get don't actually count as your kills. To, I was trying to run, but you can't do that while you're holding a weapon in this game. Actually, no, you can't. Can't you? If you press X. That's right. Thanks for the help. Wait! 
Who are you? That walk. Only way to do this for a zero kill run is to use stun grenades. I see people grab them and let them go. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Flashback. I will never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Never get the detonation code, but they said they already had the code. <laughs> Meryl got away. Good girl. Just like that. Naomi. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. The nanomachines, comma, son? No, Snake, you're just going mental. If we uh, go up to this, we can go back into the room with the cells, and uh, we can see poor Johnny, <laughs> who is, he's actually being censored in post, so that it's always on screen. But, uh, yeah, that poor guard. Is there something? No. I think this is also Johnny's little office over here. That symbol right there, I believe, is actually uh, one of the PAL cards that they were talking about. I'm fairly certain that it is. It's it's um, the first pal card. You can also see the uh, the bathroom, which uh, Johnny needs to be near. Also, some icky like maggots or bugs of some kind crawling around. This place is disgusting. Get out of here. Can't open that door. That requires level six access. Not gonna get there for a while. Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief that <laughs> They're trying to code. destabilize the terrorists. <laughs> That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the <laughs> arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, Eleven. Not yet. Anyway, hurry up. Hell Spy stands maggots. for a permissive action link. It is a safety system attached to nuclear. You have to understand, Snake. I am useless. The nuclear cannot be fired without the insertion of a special electronic code. But if the terrorists have found out the detonation codes, they can launch the missiles anytime they want. Who, who do we recognize in Metal Gear Solid Five, Snake? Is it possible to destroy the PAL system so that the missile can be fired even without inserting the detonation code? I do not believe so. 
It is set up so that the warhead will become automatically inactive if any attempt is made to remove, deactivate, or destroy the PAL. So unless the terrorists either learn the detonation codes or get their hands on the detonation code override keys, there's no way they can launch. Do not be too sure. Any system can contain bugs or malfunctions. Oops. We cannot relax yet. Yeah, I found a system in here that contained a bug. You bugs. It's gross. Where I come from, a Great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't mean to call him again. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real... What is it, Snake? I guess you're right. Snake, like Shakespeare said, Nought's had all spent. Where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Okay. Let's head for the second floor basement. The, uh, the elevator always takes a random amount of time to arrive. But will pretty much instantly arrive upon your second press of the button. If you get the best RNG on the uh, on the elevator, uh, the second button press is not necessary. Also, there are insta kill traps in this area. See that little seam there? I think it's is one of them here. I can't remember. Yep, there it is. Stop moving on one of those, and you will instantly die. Grenades? Make sure there's no traps. Actually, can the thermal goggles see the traps? I know they can see the. Yes, they actually can. Okay, the thermal goggles are extremely useful in this area. Let's see, this door is open. Nothing to worry about in this room. Socom bullets. I always say that saying. Try not to instantly die the design that goes in such an old game. Yeah, I mean, every screen is a save point in this game. Like, even if you haven't manually saved, um, you can continue from any screen. Famous. It requires level 2, though. So, uh, it's not that big of a deal if you get insta-killed here, but it is still kind of bullshit if you just stop moving and like, or if the game detects you to be over, uh, over the pit when it's open. Like, Snake can't even save himself. Alright, here's what we want. Some C4. No traps in this room. So remember they said something about, um... Said something about walls that are a different color. I think we can also get a call about it. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different too. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. We also got some grenades. We can get a call about those. You found some grenades. Just pull the pin and it explodes after five seconds. You can get a lot done during those five seconds, Snake. How you use them is up to you. Let's 
C4 as well. That is C4 explosive. A plastic explosive with a texture similar to clay. So you can shape it in almost any way you want. Although it has 1.4 times the destructive power of dynamite, it is highly stable and won't explode without a detonating device, even if it is shot, burned, or beaten. You are using a wireless detonator, yes? The detonator is equipped with a scrambler, so you don't have to worry about interference from any other radio source. Make sure you are sufficiently far enough away when it goes off. Also, as you know, the sound of the explosive will alert your enemies, so be careful. So, checking the walls here. Hmm. There are some cracks in this wall, but... Oops. Doesn't really sound any different. How about over here? Any walls of a different color? Hmm. That looks a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That'll do it. <laughs> that made quite a noise, didn't it? I can't remember if there are any other walls to blow up in here. Um, oh, I should have checked to see if... I don't think the thermo goggles can show you um, the breakable walls. I think you just have to find them. No, I remember where the, the other breakable wall is. Need to sleep? Is this stream being recorded? It sure is, Wexel. Um, you can check my VODs at any time um, here on Twitch. Uh, they're saved for two months, and uh, I make sure that before that time is over that they are transferred um, to YouTube on our, our YouTube archive. Yeah, controller battery's running out. That's okay, I have a second controller. I am so prepared. My radar is acting up. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Mm. Something or someone is interfering with my radar. Good night, Wexel. Thanks for joining us. Careful, Hope you enjoyed. Snake. Colonel, why would I want a second game controller? I'm just one person. Goggles work by thermal imaging instead of by amplif. Um, yeah, we already heard that. I do not know much about Metal Gear, just the little I have heard. I know it appeared in Outer Heaven in 1995 and then again in Zanzibar in 1999. Both were third world countries led by military regimes. They secretly developed Metal Gear to increase their military and political power throughout the world. But both were stopped by a lone hero. You, Solid Snake. That was a long time ago. <laughs> he doesn't like talking about that. MSF. <laughs> you can play split-screen multiplayer games with a friend, Snake. <laughs> Since when are we friends, Colonel? Yeah, I gotta be really careful here. I know there are some traps in this area. Okay, uh, looks like the thermal goggles will not show you breakable walls. And in fact, uh, having the thermal goggles on can kind of be a liability when you're looking for breakable walls.
you can hear the camera in there. It's important to know that sound. Can't go in that door because it requires a little six card key. We can get some more C4 from here though. That's actually level four. <sighs> Playing it a little bit dangerously with those cameras, but it's all right. That's cool, Snake. Nothing in here but a weird spider guy. I think he spun a web. Colonel, what do I do? President Baker should be somewhere around there. Hurry up and find him. Fine, fine. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Sorry, I muted for the cutscene because I was doing dishes. Oh no. Uh, I want to get those bullets, but it's so dangerous. Oh 
Oh well, we gotta do it now. Got him. Ow! Come on. Got him. You're pretty good. Just like yes. from the man with the same code as the boss. That's the that's the good ending. Good if you fight. take too long, he uh, he insults you. What? Oh! Sliced it right off. Cut all the wires too. Who is this guy? He's using stealth. It's the other intruder. making like inhuman noises. <laughs> Don't mention Keep the exoskeleton. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I Jim sent you. Talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Obviously. The DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? Garbage Chief's story really isn't I adding up. I had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I uh, can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up. This guy's freaking out. Calm down. He knows What's something. With you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not going to let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact Great, her. Great, then you probably know her frequency. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! <laughs> the music oh, stops. That's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. 
But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. Team leader. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone <laughs> who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Explain the how. The spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, this is the Game Boy camera. Nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. <laughs> Kentucky has you mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Those damn liberals. Always trying to prevent us from creating weapons of mass destruction. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. Ask Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it can't be. No. 
those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in, did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... 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 For what? What the hell? How come everybody I rescue has a heart attack? I mean, I'm good looking, but I'm not that good looking. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact <laughs> with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Get a little bit of max life. Beating a boss. crouch in front of Kenneth Baker you can also get some uh, some contextual camera angles that's a level 4 door We're not getting through that thankfully all the uh, all the C4 is gone so we can move through the center of this room now and uh, Ninja thing. Yeah, Snake, that was rude. There's guards here now. There weren't guards before in this room because when you use an explosion in a room, uh, it will instantly alert. There is no way around it. Uh, we could stand to pick up some of the SOCOM bullets. Oh yes, maximum ammo goes up as well when you kill a boss. We can get into here now since our card has been upgraded to level 2. But... There are lasers in this room. Gotta be careful. Thankfully, we can crawl right into them as long as we know they're there. Now I've got the Famous Assault Rifle. Press to fire, hold down for full auto. infrared sensors. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke, uh, cigarette smoke or something. Sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? Oh well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was a good idea, bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. <laughs> you got a vape? Nah, only Venom Snake vapes. A snake that. Oh, okay. I guess that's um, taking priority. First, the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, it smells pretty rotten to me. Master. Do you know anything? No, but there's definitely something going on. 
Keep your eyes open out there. What's up, Snake? Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. <laughs> Isn't the crocodile dangerous even if you don't insult it? It looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. Somehow you'll have to make it past the memes. How? I keep I keep just getting barely spotted. What? Come on, you don't have a level two key card. You're just a guard. I gotta stop uh, doing that. So, uh, there's a, a bit of a, an unfortunate, like... Oh, hold on. What's this guy doing? He's running! Wow, that guy was... Okay. There's a bit of an unfortunate, like, translation thing going on here, where he says it's on the back of the CD case, and then he gives you a disc. And so a lot of people wondered if there was a way to, like, use this disc to get Merrill's codec the information. Dark Chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Al Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Yeah, so like, I've got the CD case here. Is anybody gonna tell me about it? It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. They say that there are 500,000 nuclear engineers in the world. But after the end of the Cold War, the demand for nuclear engineers dropped precipitously. In the Eastern Bloc countries in particular, there is a tremendous brain drain. They cannot keep their scientists brain in the drain. country. And each year, more and more nuclear engineers go to work for the highest bidder. Just like Baker said, each year, there are more and more cases of muff coming from the nuclear material storage facilities. Muff. That stands for material unaccounted for. It means that someone is stealing nuclear materials and probably selling them on the black market. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the nuclear management program fell to pieces. In the late 1990s, there were rumors that nearly a hundred suitcase-sized nuclear bombs mysteriously disappeared from the Soviet arsenal. We still do not know whether it is true or not, but it is possible that they fell into the hands of terrorists. It looks like the DARPA chief and the arms tech president both agree on the concept of maintaining a dominant nuclear arsenal. They are big on the nuclear deterrent theory. The idea behind <laughs> she says it was such a disdain. Is that both countries would be too afraid to use a nuclear weapon for fear of a nuclear reprisal. 
In other words, the only thing preventing a country from totally devastating another country with nuclear weapons is the fear of a nuclear counter-strike. Those two probably feel that Metal Gear will further promote that security. You can just imagine Nastasha's Hideo right Kojima. That as long as any country has nuclear weapons, they must have them as well. That is why they will never be in favor of the total elimination of nuclear weapons. And with each new country that acquires nuclear capabilities, the need for maintaining the counter-strike threat increases. As long as the nuclear deterrent policy continues, we will never be rid of nuclear weapons. It's okay, Eleven. I can definitely do it. I, I remember there is a way. The theory of nuclear deterrence was born during the Cold War, at a time of great suspicion between the U.S. and the USSR. The great gulf between the ideologies of East and West caused a dramatic escalation in the arms race. And this escalation of the arms race, in turn, fueled mutual distrust and fear between the world's two great superpowers. The last half of the 20th century was shaped by the policy of nuclear deterrence. But the world has changed. The Cold War has ended, and we are now living in a world where small regional conflicts are breaking out all over. Things are not so simple anymore, and the policy of nuclear deterrence is obsolete. Most of these regional conflicts are the result of age-old enmities between different ethnic groups and religions. In those cases, the hatred often runs so deep that rationality is thrown out the window. For people such as them, the fear of a counter-strike often means little, and that is why the nuclear deterrence policy has lost much of its efficacy. A nuclear standoff is not a sufficient deterrent in the current world climate. The warheads are supposed to be dismantled at Pantex or some other dismantling facility, but there are limits to how many warheads we've they can heard this process. one before. We just do not have... Yeah. Um, let me take out the Famous and see if we can ask her about that. That is a Famous. It is a bullpup-style assault rifle. It is durable and easy to use. Very resistant to overheating, it is a reliable weapon with smooth action. It can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. On full auto, you will empty a 25-round magazine in a few seconds. Take her cigarette out to reveal she is Kojima. Okay. Um, let's save here with Mei Ling. What's up, Snake? How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to using the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. <laughs> if you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. <laughs> Because someone who's very well known in the Metal Gear community. Famous. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you press the PlayStation button here, we can go see the software manual. What is Metal Gear? Metal Gear first went on sale in Japan on July 7th, 1987. <laughs> that game was born with the notion, fighting alone does not make a game. Stealth is more important. So there's all this classic stuff. They've got, like, some high-quality scans of it. I love that. I think some of these are still, um, yeah, some, uh, some of these are, uh, pseudonyms like Liquid Snake, James Flinders, uh, Liquid Snake is voiced by Cam Clark. David Hayter used his real name, but a lot of them didn't.
There's some summaries of the games that came before, the prologue, but if we uh, if we scroll all the way all the way to the back here, we can see the back of the CD case, which includes 140.15 Merrill. There's the anti-piracy right there. What happened? Wait, why did I game over? What happened? Is the game not paused when it's like this? It's not. <laughs> I, got, I was found. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. Hey, Felix. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole she mess. She seems you to recognize him. You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you <laughs> were. How? It's your eyes. Hoping that you were trying. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no Girl, they didn't even model eyes. Oh, in this I game. don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? <laughs> Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? What? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. 
I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. Meryl, the whole you screen is green right one now. One second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. Hmm, they I'll both have a little girl. chuckle there. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Thank you for that clip, Eleven. Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? I'll call you when I get the door open. <laughs> Meryl. Meryl, talk to me. Meryl. What? How are you doing? No footstep noise in this game. Come on. Come on. All right. This is like Meryl and Snake shopping. Footstep noise happens on grates. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. 
These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Angry snake. Meryl contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the Warhead Storage Building. Meryl contacted you. Let's save real quick. What's up, Snake? That way we can get some more uh, proverbs from Mei Ling. Snake, have you ever heard the saying? Friendly counsel cuts off many foes. It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? But what if I want to contact you, Mailing? Was there anything we can... Open now with the card keys. Can open that door. What's over there? Whoa, there's a guy in there. All right. Uh, there's a guy coming this way. Okay, I ever knew there was a guy in there. Oh my god, it's a guy! Are there any traps in here? That guy just loves staring at the wall? Yeah, it really does. Grab him. He was about to see me. The SOCOM suppress air. <laughs> they misspelled it. They didn't. They didn't misspell it there. They misspelled it in the uh, in the pickup. Uh. Did we get a call about it now or when we put it on? Can't remember. Pistol. If you equip that, you won't have to worry about being noticed by the enemy when you fire. It will greatly reduce the sound and flash from your muzzle. It uses a multi-layer chamber to lower the velocity of the gas emissions, and thus reduce the sound and flash when you fire your weapon. The suppressor is narrow enough so that you can still use the gun's original sight even when it is equipped. It shouldn't change the feel when you fire it. Contacted you. <laughs> what are you talking about, Olivia? <laughs> My goodness. Alright, so equip the SOCOM and the suppressor. And we get the suppressed SOCOM. Nice. That's an important item to have. Those guys aren't like outside, are they? Okay. No, they're above me. Okay. That's a very important item to get. Glad we grabbed that. Oh, you know what? We should have grabbed more uh, grenades. But oh well. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I don't think Meryl has any place uh, lecturing me about being naked. Be careful, Snake. Be 
People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. Trust your instincts as a gamer. God, I'm just making the cute but We really saw her silver burg earlier. <laughs> I guess we did. Oh boy. Okay. If you go just at the right moment, you can kind of just run right through these. But uh, it's 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 pretty tough. Yeah, the, that part actually is hard. It's really touchy with the lasers. Um, and the fixed camera means that you'll often run into a problem where you have no idea uh, how high it is in comparison to you. If you go north from there, you should come to the Warhead Storage Building. Dr. Emmerich is probably being held there. You've got to save him and find out how to destroy Metal Gear. If you go north from there... It is just like... It is just like Baker said. That's true. Sound travels better in cold environments. If you're going to use a handgun, you should equip a suppressor. When the temperature falls down to minus 30 or minus 40 degrees Celsius, you start to get ice fogs. That's when the moisture in the air freezes. It may look pretty at first, but it'll severely limit your visibility. Be careful. Kipling, an English poet who also won the Nobel Prize, said that once you go beyond 65 degrees north, you're beyond the reach of divine protection and human law. <laughs> to survive in such surroundings, you have to be strong enough to not rely on God or anyone else. You heard him. If you go north from there, you'll eventually come to the Warhead Storage Building. Dr. Emmerich should be in the laboratory area in the second floor basement. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Meryl. What? Are you going to tell me to stay back because I'm too green again? Nope. It's your decision. I can't stop you from doing what you want, but... But... Don't do anything stupid, okay? Stupid? Boy, thanks for the great show of confidence. Meryl. Anyway, I'll see you there. <laughs> Hey, don't do anything stupid. I'm worried about you. How dare you even consider that I might make a mistake? What's up, Snake? Alright, what... What nugget of wisdom have In you for us today? In my homeland, they say, If there are more wolves, the people are eaten. If there are more people, the wolves are eaten. That means the side with the greater numbers is usually the winner. You're badly outnumbered, Snake. Try not to let them see you. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Save your game. Great idea. Okay. So, with these uh, thermal goggles, we can see there's a bunch of claymores. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. The DARPA chief? Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. No, it, Deep Throat. It's just the same voice actor. Informant from the Watergate scandal. Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. One of your fans. <laughs> Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Mei-Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei-Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source, but I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. Snake, 
You'll have to go through the minefield to advance. A minefield, huh? You'll need a mine detector. Meryl knows the base like the back of her hand. Why don't you ask her? The place is mined? Well, if you use a mine detector, you'll be able to see the mines displayed on your radar. If you need a mine detector, there should be one on the second floor of the tank hangar. I don't need no mine detector. I got thermal goggles. They do everything for me. Also, if you're crawling, Claymores can't hurt you. Those are claymore mines. Unlike other mines, which are planted cool underground, snake. clay mortars are set up above ground and are designed to produce maximum damage in a wide fan-shaped area. When they go off, they spray 700 1.2 millimeter steel pellets in a 60 degree pattern, much like an oversized shotgun. Traditionally, Jesus. clay mortars use a tripwire to set them off, but those clay mortars are a new type. They are camouflaged using the new stealth technology and are equipped with sophisticated motion detectors. Not to shoot the laser out of Eleven, of course. Tank! Let's see if I remember how to beat the tank. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. It's just a code name, dude. Calm down. You're not a real raven. Let's fight. Okay. Snake, look out for that tank's main gun. It'll pulverize you. There should be some way. Ask Nastasha. She knows everything there is to know about weapon systems. That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Might be able to fool the tank's electronic systems with a chaff grenade. <laughs> that was a much less comprehensive answer. Deep throat, what do I do? No response. No response from Miller right now either. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, let's uh. Where's the tank? Oh! Did I get it? I did! Don't get run over. Wait, I might have gotten it again. Nope, I missed. Ah! Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, we're fine. He got away from me, though. You can hear where he is with my non-mono TV. That wasn't high enough. Wait, what? Why did I crawl? Stop just trying to run me over. Oh my god. Ah! 
Gosh darn it. I couldn't get close. I kept getting run over. Oh god, that scream from the colonel is so pained. Oh my god, no. Okay, we're fine. The mono TV Easter egg. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get the, the mono TV Easter egg. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, I should probably equip those, huh? Oh, I would have lived. He keeps like, he's, he's Tokyo drifting all over me. That was pretty good. Oh, that was really good. Leading me back into the claymores. Oh, that didn't count. I have to throw that one. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. Gosh darn it! I'm so bad at this. I'm gonna get shot. I'm running the wrong way. Definitely gonna get shot by the main cannon. How are you supposed to do this? Oh my god, stop shooting. Whatever, that was good. Got him. Okay. Not fully though. Oh my god, look at him. Tokyo drifting. I can't do it, dude. Get up. I don't have any grenades. I'm done for. What? Oh no, I wanted the chat. Where is the tank? Found the tank. I don't think that was on the top. I don't know how to get, like, the grenade up there without, uh, without getting run over. Got him. Hank is a very hard fight. This isn't the Vulcan Raven boss battle. That's later. This was just random guy in a tank boss battle. That was a level three guard. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. Lobes treads? Oh, that's probably See, a really good strat. I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the land shaman. of the Sioux people, 
Sue means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. <laughs> Matt Shannon? A little more max life. A little more max ammo. I can even grab a ration from here. I think consistency is more important than accuracy when it comes to voice actor pronunciation. Ivan Ocelot, Shella Shaka, Adam. Whatever you're called. Snake, you've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. Why, so we can He's have a heart attack? He's held prisoner in the second floor basement of the Warhead storage building. It is just like Baker. Just like Baker said. They say that... just like Baker said. You just like Baker said. After the fall of the You're incredible, Snake. You single-handedly beat an M1 tank. I did it. I no beat the tank. Deal. But I'll bet that VR simulator you trained on didn't have any scenarios that put you one-on-one -on -one against a tank, did it? No, but there was no scenario where I had to work alone with a special forces soldier against a group of terrorists either. In real life, things never go the way you expect them to, especially on a battlefield. I'm already holed up in the Warhead storage building. It looks like Dr. Emmerich is still fine, but I'm not sure for how much longer. Hurry up this way, okay? In war, a split second can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Don't ever hesitate. The slower you react, the greater the chance that you'll be beaten. Master Miller sounded a lot like Zote these days. weapons in that area I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to colonel what what are you talking about have you forgotten that's where they keep the nuclear warheads can't you see them yeah there's lots of boxes piled up here but are they all warheads yes they're all dismantled warheads they just leave them here it's like President Baker said totally careless they're working on a limited budget they try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Alright, so... No use on... SOCOM, Grenade, Claymore, C4, nothing. Well, I guess I didn't get the Famous in this save. That's gonna be a problem. Actually, the SOCOM's pretty good. We can use Chaff Grenades. Usually there's good stuff in the truck, but I guess not this time. Oh no. No, it's okay, they won't go in the truck. 
They don't know how to go in the truck. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. That's no good. Oof. Well, we can go get another ration from here at least. Oh yeah, we can. I forgot. Um, you can. Uh, you can check this little window. See a little preview, like a bird's eye view of the area ahead. Kind of cool. Useful for give, uh, helping you make a plan of attack. I can't choke him in front of the camera. He lives today. That guy even had some bullets for me, not that I can use them on this floor. Very careful not to step on the grates. Some of the warheads are covered, you'll notice. Um, and the reason for that is literally just because they don't have enough polygons to model the rest of them. So they're undercover in boxes. Careful here. For that guy to turn around. We gotta get him. Okay, here we go. Ah, got a little too close. I think we're dead. Oh yeah, because the elevator won't work. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, no gas mask. You're dead in this room. They ran out of polygon budget. You're a polygon. More like poly be gone. Snake, answer me. Snake. Snake. <laughs> Easier to train them in VR? I guess it would be. <sighs> Sorry, I keep messing up this section. how to better uh, sneak up on these guys. I think lying flat here, neither of them can see you. No good. I can't do it. No use. Until he turns around. Okay. Let's get him this time. There we go. All right. I could have let that guy live, but after what he did to me, no.
care, and it's like instructed to go to the second floor basement. You could also just not kill any guards. That's true, but we'd be here for fucking ever. So <laughs> I'll just kill all the guards, and, and that'll be good. We can use our weapons again. It requires a level three key card to get in, but lucky us. We grabbed one. Uh-oh. Filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. That's the mystery noise gear. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. It doesn't get shot down by the cameras. For the time being, let's trust what Deep Throat told us. Use a remote controlled missile to destroy the switchboard in the northwest section of the Warhead Storage Building's second floor base. <laughs> he keeps. <laughs> in the northwest corner of the Warhead the Storage <laughs> Building. <laughs> I know it's just like Baker said. Deep throat? No, I, I don't know anyone who calls himself that. I see. I wonder why he's trying to help you. I have no idea. A trap? Could be, but for the time being, I'll have to trust him. Where are the remote controlled missiles? I think the remote controlled missiles are on the first floor basement of the Warhead Storage Building. Master, does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Deep Throat? What? You mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. <laughs> no. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation. No, Miller, it's not the same guy. Comic. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Somewhere on the base? Yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. You caught Snake? Let's hear another proverb. Snake, like Confucius said, the cautious seldom err. If you proceed cautiously, you probably won't make a big mistake. Snake, even after you get used to the mission, don't lose your concentration. Controller just died. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it cutscening me? No, controller died. The dang elevator closed. It had somewhere else to be. Controller's lung shot. <laughs> Controller, no. Okay. The 
It's a girl's restroom. We can't get in there. It knows. It knows we're not a girl. For the time be okay. Whoa, careful. Stun grenades. Whoa. <laughs> Be very quiet. And there's another guard covering his back, and another one came in the door. Maybe we wait until that guy leaves. Use your radar. It can be a bit of a trade off. Let's see. What doors can we go in? There's four and five. Nikita. Why, thank you. I am the world president. Sorry I'm so late, Tilda. Tilda. <laughs> Jinx Pixie. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, let's get, um, let's get Duke a dog treat for that. Hey, Duke, do you want a dog treat? Where's my dog treat boy? Thank you for being... The world president. You do want a dog treat? Come here, buddy. Can you not hear me? You want a little dog treat? Yeah. There you go. There you are. All right. This is from Jinx Pixie, who's supporting us. Yeah. She's helping sure. <laughs> she's helping make sure we both get fed. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Good boy. Good boy. It's Elle's birthday. Nice. Happy birthday to Elle Kenders if he's watching. Got any uh, fun plans? Those are remote-controlled miniature reconnaissance missiles, sometimes called Nikita missiles. They've got CCD cameras in their nose cones. After you fire them, they'll transmit their visual data to your monitor. You can control their flight freely in all directions. But the missiles have a limited amount of fuel. Watch the gauge carefully. Press the first person view button to see the missile's visual data. Use them wisely. Use them wisely. We always celebrate our birthdays together because my B-Day is tomorrow. Nice, Pixie. Oh, shoot. I was going for the door, but so was he. Okay, time to go. Nikita Missiles Rex Sniper Wolf. Yeah. But good luck getting in a place to to shoot her. Uh-oh. 
Wait, is this it? Oh, first try? Hey, first try. How about that? Let's breathe a little fresh air. Her real weakness is being walked at. <laughs> She's a sniper, she works better from distance. You guys are just mean. Sniper Wolf does her best, okay? Gotta make sure no traps. Nope, not getting in there. Something pretty good in there. Try a chaff grenade. In here we have a very nice item. The gas mask reduces speed of O2 gauge decrease in poison gas environment. And you can see when they say decrease, they mean slow almost to a to a stop. You did it! You destroyed the switchboard. The electrical current running through the floor should be off now. You've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich and find out Metal Gear's weak point. Isn't he being held in the laboratory in the northeast part of the floor you're on? Don't know if you've seen her fight in a speedrun, but the glitch, they glitch it so you have PG PSG1 equipped but can still walk. This breaks her auto hit when you get to close, and the cutscene trigger is always active so you walk up and she dies. That's amazing. Yeah, so you just walk up and she's like, I've never handled this before. You've killed me. Okay, I'm going to go get some fresh air. Come back. Oh, not without key card number three, I'm not. There we go. Okay, the gas mask. You can see when you're first personing through the gas mask, you have to look through its little holes. Hal's lab, keep out, written on the door in like crayon. Hal's lab, keep out. Remember that until now, all of the, like, you know, head of the Metal Gear program scientists that we've seen have been, like, they've been old men, guys with, like, years and years of experience, right, jaded in one way or another. And people keep referring to him as Dr. Emmerich. Meryl, what are these holes in the wall for? That's an air cleaner for blowing tiny particles of dust off people's bodies before they enter the lab. <laughs> cool. That's an air cleaner. Only plans involve galloping ghosts with Pixie tomorrow, also because I work retail and will never get my BD off because it's Mexican Mother's Day. Oh. Wow. That's, uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Elk Enders. Hope you can have some fun anyway. You've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich. I know, I know. Mei Ling, maybe you'll talk to me. Mei Ling will always talk to you. Snake, you can't use the radar because something's jamming it. And whatever's doing it is very close to you. Be careful. Uh-oh. Remember what happened last time the radar was being inexplicably jammed? Be careful, Snake. Galloping Ghost is a huge arcade near us. If you ever come out this way, we'll take you there. Sounds like my kind of scene. Absolutely. Whoa. You've got to re- oh. Guess nobody responds to that. The lockers don't work.
like they were cut by some type of blade. The voices are speaking words in Japanese. What's this pile of corpses? It looks like they were all slashed by some kind of sword. Couldn't be. What? Nothing. Snake, I'm worried about Emmerich. Hurry up and get to him. Stop. Or uh, no, sorry, Naomi seems to understand something about the situation. They say oh my God! Shut up, Nastasha. This pile of corpses. Is this your handiwork? No way. I didn't think so. Who could have done that? You got me, but he must be somewhere up ahead. Then I guess you'll just have to go and find out. Nobody appreciates Nastasha. <laughs> not yet, Felix, not yet. In war. Snake, you can't use the it's a ghost. Kneeling down next to each of these uh, dead bodies gives you some preset camera angles. Look at that guy torn up straight across the chest. Ugh. Almost looks like those are his ribs that you can see. Hey, uh, excuse me, bullets, can you please heck off? Okay. Yeah, that guy straight down the center. Stealth camo. The ninja. Huh? What? That stealth camouflage. It's him. It must be. Snake. Emmerich's in danger. Hurry and go after him. Hurry! Dr. Emmerich is in danger. I would nope right out of this room. Oh yes, um... The thermal goggles still show these two guards um, as being warm. And in fact, uh... That one's still, like, I don't know, shivering. Because they just recently died. These other ones, they've already gone cold. This guy died with his gun in his hand. This dude got, like, impacted on the wall. Oh, there we go. Snake, hurry! Just like big I thought there might have been a call about this guy's uh, famous but I don't think there is who knows what awaits us ahead maybe we should save what's up snake
snake, like Confucius said, the cautious seldom err. You've already told me this one. Let's equip our uh, rations for no particular reason. Guys, it's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. If you have questions about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. I'm sorry, but there's no one in Foxhound like that. There are currently only six members of Foxhound. Psychomantis, Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, Decoy Octopus, Revolver Ocelot, and finally Liquid Snake. The genome soldiers under his command are next generation special forces. Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite hand-picked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Snake, he's obviously trying to provoke you. Snake, he... Look at him move. He must have some kind of powered exoskeleton. Powered exoskeleton? You mean like prosthetic arms and legs? No. Prosthetics are intended to replace original body parts. That ninja's exoskeleton makes him far stronger than any normal human. He is a true cyborg, a cybernetic organism. So he's half machine, huh? I heard rumors about the experiments, but I had no idea that such a creature really existed. Look at him! Ninja? I've never heard of any member of Foxhound like that. But you're gonna have to do something about him if you want to save Dr. Emmerich. Why don't you try throwing away your weapons? Just let him kill you, Snake. Just let him slice you open like the guards in the hallway. It'll be great. 
snake, you can't use your radar. It's confused by all of the radio interference. That ninja is giving off some kind of electrical energy. Win, snake, win! That's good, good advice. <laughs> Good. Now we can fight as warriors. End to end it is the basis of all. Combat. You try shooting him when, when he has his sword out, it doesn't work. There's some chaff grenades here. Ow. Oh no. He's flipping all over me. You can see he's breaking stuff. Get him. If you try to throw um, chaff, it actually will hurt him. And for a while, you can uh, you can like shoot him with weapons and whatnot. Barely dodged that. He broke the glass. So he dodged me. Look at these kicks he's got. There are even famous bullets here for if you if you want to use the chaff strat. Oh. Quite combo him there. Whoa. Oh, darn it. Disappeared. That's good snake. There's a lot of environmental interaction, yeah. Finds me. Oh, my God. Hurry up and catch me. Ninja's got a lot of health. Oh, oh, I see ya. He cast a little bit of a shadow. The nothing personnel, kid. Hurt me more. You heard him hurt him more, Alex. I'm trying. I love it. I remember the punch you served at that party. <laughs> You definitely spiked it. It's great. The clashing of bone and sinew. Oh, he sure, he sure likes to talk while he fights. Oops. Get a room, you two. Oh, 
Uh, I was actually coming to ask if you make dinner tonight. Okay. After spring's over. You don't have to do it now. Oh, um, yeah? I'm gonna go on a step. Okay. And stream can help you make it. Okay. Oh, what was that? Wow, that was my own fault. That's good sneak. Oops, that's still glass. Got him. Okay, I forgot he did that. <laughs> Double KO. Ah, oh, damn it. Hold on, wait. It's because I missed a Kodak call over here, I think. Uh, this is a level 4 door, which we would normally not be able to get into. But he slashed the door open. Snake, hurry. Drop a live grenade as you're killed. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Okay, hold on, let's try it again. Sorry about this. I saw a bunch of dude and then them saying, very good, Snake. Yeah, Vagray, this, this dude, uh, he, uh, he likes the way I punch. Make me feel alive again. Like that? That's good. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Enter. Oh, you know, I should have shot at him a little bit to show you how he, uh. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. How he slices through the bullets, even if you're shooting the famous. Nice, that was like max range. What? Couldn't tell where he was gonna go there. Oh shit. Ah! Look at that combo. That was sick. You try to crawl on the ground to avoid him. He's got an attack for that. <laughs> Kicked right through that glass. to run away from him after that. Don't know how he's doing that. Oh god. <laughs> this D-pad kinda hurting my fingers. Okay, now he's gonna do hide and seek. That's good snake. Hurry up and catch me. Martyred him. He hacked the mainframe. That's just how we hack. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's that ninja? Oh, I hear him. Don't let him get you. You know what? I don't want to play. You can't make me. Hurry up and catch me. 
Trying to hack the main thing yourself. Oh yeah, I, I, I know about that, Pixie. We were gonna get that later. But thank you for reminding me. It only hurts him a tiny bit. Whoops. Oh yeah, I think you can actually avoid the punch by crouching. But he'll try to, uh... He'll try to get around your crouch. Oh no, okay, you can't. The tiki head. Is there a tiki head in this room? Oh my god, I'm just terrible at this. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle, the clashing of bone and sinew. Turn it. I didn't get the combo. You're wasting my time. Try it. That's good, Snake. Okay. Now don't touch him. Uh, while he's freaking out like this, you can actually shoot him. Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? Freaking out. Is it over? <laughs> nope. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. I'll look for it, Clark. Clark. Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Man, that's Apparently how Dr. The Clark met their end, huh? decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, 
Why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? You sounded pretty uh, emotional what about this, Naomi. After that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. <laughs> yeah, Pixie, true. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. <laughs> I always work alone with a team of five to are six other people. Too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Good night, Snake. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, there's <laughs> nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! Oh. I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. That's cool, Pixie. No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally magnets. developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on the That's miniaturized, by the way. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? And missile pods, you do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's the That's missiles, but, like, those aren't as cool as the laser. Did I tell you about the laser I put on it? And they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's... Maglev roller coasters are real guns for people. ...was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. Nova and NIF? So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? 
If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. It's at least partially other people's fault, too. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. <gasps> he suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? Yeah? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. <laughs> God's got a sense of humor, all right. Good old Huey. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I want it to be my fault. I used fault to think too. that I could use science to help mankind, but the one that wound up getting used was me. <laughs> you didn't want to help mankind. You wanted to build giant to robots. Mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? <laughs> I want to build giant. Where is Metal Gear? A great question. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But of course, north of the communications there. tower. The emergency Hi, stuff. override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in, in the maintenance base control room. Mm -hmm. You'd better hurry. You writing this if down? If they're planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Oh yeah, acting's good in this, yeah. Just some pronunciation errors. I'll show you the way. That's all. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. And a little bit you of need localization. to destroy Rex? I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. I <laughs> know, aren't these cutscenes great? Get a chance, try to escape. When the did, coast did you clear, notice that I'll Snake has no coding. eyes? How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. Rex was the my dog. Okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Uh, maybe this Something's wouldn't have happened wrong. if you hadn't did you taken off your mask to use your Wasn't radio. some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Mantis' theme. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. <laughs> Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Metal Gear, your favorite game of all time. That's tough. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? Oh. You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm You're not about to have some sort of terrible strange. heart attack, are you? I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doc. <laughs> Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Yeah, go ahead and give Japan us some footage of Japanimation. Successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. 
And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. This footage is actually from another That's Kojima production. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Subtle. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. I would say my favorite game of all time is probably Doom Eternal at this point. That's um, that's an excellent game that I can replay again and again. Yeah, Police Knots over there. And another Police Knots poster. Um, there's also, in this room... PlayStation 1. You can see the controller there is definitely a PlayStation 1 controller, but the console itself is gray. Um, even though these dark gray consoles were not available for consumer purchase, that's because that is a, um, a dev kit. The dev kit PS1s were dark gray, and of course that's the one they had at the office. So they included a dark gray PS1. Yes, you're the Doom guy. <laughs> yes, I, I very much enjoyed your playthrough of, of Doom 2016. So. Um, do I have any... I don't have any rations. Can I call Otacon about that? Oh shoot, what was this? I forget, it doesn't automatically add it. What is what is Otacon's frequency? Was anyone paying attention? <laughs> 14180? No, that's master. <laughs> shoot. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. One for one, one two. It. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? <laughs> yeah, the mission is the same million. <laughs> but she's still like, oh, you're a, you're a jerk. I don't like you. For reasons... There we go. One four one one two. You still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the Warhead Storage Building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Snake, the war. So one of the things I don't think I know about this game is that Otacon mentions, oh, if you need ammo or rations, I can bring them to you. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use that feature at all. Or if that even is a thing. Oh yes, uh, cool easter egg part two here. Um, the guards that were before warm are now cold. The two over here that were warm before, they don't show up on the thermal goggles anymore.
Imagine you're a kid in the 90s and you forget Otacon's code. What do you do? Definitely never used it. You go through each number I had to do with Merrill's. Oh my god. How tedious that would be. Oh shoot, the, the gas. I forgot. Well, I guess I had to open the door with the keycard anyway. Oh no. Oh, we're fine. Okay, go now. Where's the Tiki statue? It's in one of these, I think. Pretty sure you were right about that. Stun grenades. Oh, is that it? Right there? That, no, that doesn't look like a Tiki statue. What is that? That's like a microscope. DK is in the top right room, okay. It's like under the desk though, isn't it? Or... Oh, no wait, it's right here. There it is! Tiki head! They are, uh, hidden in the game sometimes. Oh yes, excuse me, Moai. It is a Moai statue. All right, now we gotta find Meryl. And the way we find Meryl is that she walks, uh, well, differently. <laughs> Tiki. Okay, let's look for a guard that walks differently. Hey, look at what we got. Look at cute penguin. Sea box. To nuclear warhead storage building is written on it. What have you got there? A cardboard box? Yeah, remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. Those poor fools won't know what hit them. <laughs> they have like this bonding moment of it. Remember that trick? Yeah, that's the snake I remember. A cardboard box. A cardboard box usually consists of a thin pasteboard with a corrugated paper center. They are usually made of recycled paper. It was first invented in Europe over a hundred years ago. It was originally used to absorb one's sweat when wearing hats. With the same amount of wood to make one wooden box, you can make six or seven cardboard boxes. And since it's recyclable, it's highly economical. In addition, it's strong and easy to store. That's why it's widely used for packing. But to avoid damaging weapons and other delicate instruments when shipping them, they should be packed in stronger boxes like wood or something. Also, the crevices should be filled with styrofoam to prevent them from moving around. So, anyway, what's with the box? <laughs> oh, nothing. No big deal. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know if there's any retrospect on it, Pixie. I think this is a... It was a pretty well-known thing even in its time. A cardboard box, huh? Just like Zanzibar. It saved my skin more than a few times in Outer Heaven, too. Getting the maximum use out of ordinary on-hand objects is the first principle of survival. It's especially important in covert operations. I haven't forgotten what you taught me. <laughs> the voice actors felt. Yeah, you have to read this with like the utmost certainty. I mean, at that point, it's just a... Uh... It's just a, like an acting exercise. Say this absolutely ridiculous thing. Completely seriously. The 
just a box. Just a box. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awkward. They got up? Alright, fine, I'll kill you. No! There's too many of them. Just a box. She makes a little noise, too. Okay, if you follow her fast enough, don't let her get away. You get another little Easter egg here. Don't move. Did I get it? It's a pretty tight That's timing. The second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Your Meryl. She's not able to uh, for man for long. to dress herself fast mean? enough. Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? <laughs> Look at she's like paint tattoo. She's it's not buff. Real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. <laughs> want to be the only famous. winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <laughs> How is that relevant, Snake? There she goes. Oh, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. So quite the dream over there. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? See, women have a lot more hiding places than men. That's all she was talking about. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. Yeah, we get it, Meryl. You're I different than all the other girls. Coming a soldier. But I was wrong. 
It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a training exercise. Say, say. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, <laughs> so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable eight with it years than I am old. with the If we're going to go the north, hiding we'll have places to go through the commander's room on this right floor. There. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding some place important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. <laughs> I mean, Pixie. Even even the boss uh, had her mo <laughs> had her moment, her Kojima moment of uh, like. Oh, how about in the final battle, she just like unzips her shirt, and they were like, Kojima, why? And Kojima was like, to show off her boobs. Oh, you mean like in story? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she has like an important scar on there or something. <laughs> you can see the uh, the snake in the mirror doesn't uh, doesn't sidestep when you do. But yeah, there's just an entire other bathroom. Strange, there's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Do you have Colonel, a nice train? Your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but duty first? Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. <laughs> but what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes, but even players can influence the play. I just hope we can <laughs> prevent <laughs> that <laughs> bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> Does she breathe through her skin? She has to be. Well, okay. So then all the other snipers, the enemy snipers that we made that have the exact same powers as her, they have to be naked too? Oh no, they're fine. Just, yeah, put them in full combat gear. Push the end with Snoot, then we wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just only like a couple leaves in like important places, that's it. Snake, go <laughs> Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, alright. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine so how tough. It must be the walk. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad she's okay. That's such a good awkward laugh. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. 
<laughs> Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. That's where the detonation code input system is. Get to Metal Gear. <laughs> no response. You managed to link up with Merrill. Good. So now you must have the card keys that will override the detonation code. You should hurry. The time limit is running out. <laughs> Very insistent we use those cards. You found Merrill. Hrusso. <laughs> I would be still in there. One day we will get there. It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the Colonel. Choice of words, Millie. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. Talk to you later, Snake. Okay, so there's a couple things we can do here. Um, if you stare at Meryl, she'll react. What? What is it? <laughs> if you just keep staring at her. Mailing is great. What are you staring at? And um, if I keep doing it, you're going to start noticing something. If you already know, don't write it in chat. Uh, but if you don't know, try and uh, don't stare at me like try that. Try and see if you can notice something going on. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. What? What is it? What are you though. staring at? <laughs> All 12 pixels of it. Come on, Snake. <laughs> Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> I guess that. you guys all already know this, huh? But... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You've got to get a move on. She is... incredibly red. <laughs> She keeps getting redder and redder what? as you stare at her. It? It's it's still happening. <laughs> she eventually becomes like like really like unnaturally bright red. Like something's wrong. <laughs> Come on, snake. Like look at her right now. She's like glowing. <laughs> oh, and then she starts like Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> She starts like idly like tapping her foot because she's like <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Oh, yeah <laughs> you, you... <laughs> What are you thinking? That is a great slap <laughs> if, you, if you punch her and you can't move away from that by the way, she gives you the full-on like big <laughs> Entire arm's length slap. It is so good. The level five key card we can get into some of these areas. Grab the night vision goggles. Bunch of famous bullets. SOCOM, FAMUS, a RATION, all of this will be very useful to us in just a second. This is good too, right? Yeah. Thank you for holding the door open for me, Meryl. And yeah, she's just, she's still glowing. Why do you keep putting the thermal goggles on? Because I'm extremely paranoid in this game about uh, mines and lasers. Uh, both of which are completely invisible unless you have those on. 
Are you Snake? What are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. But I wanted to go to the bathroom. <laughs> what? What is it? Snake, let's hurry up and go to the commander's room. I I was literally going there right now. What can I do for you, Snake? Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always Let's just flirt with two girls pilot. at the same time, why not? I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessment. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. What a sad story. You blame Snake for flirting with Mei Ling. She's adorable. Uh, Meryl has um, calmed down. She's all right now. She's she's not bright red anymore. <laughs> but you can, can you can do it on this screen too. I think it's funny how you pronounce famous, not saying you're wrong, it's just I emphasize the other syllable. Like famas. Mostly octagon. What can I do for you, Snake? Good luck, Snake. Okay. Head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Uh oh. Don't uh -oh. come here, Snake. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. <laughs> you sound fine. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. That was a weird thing for you to say. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, right now, if you use the first person view, it looks through Meryl's point of view. So you can like see her following you. <laughs> Hello, it is me, Solid Snake. Thank you for playing my video game. How's your memory looking? It's gonna be pretty clean. Unfortunately. I don't think I really have anything to uh of, of interest. Colonel, Meryl's acting kind of strange. Maybe she's just feeling a little tired from all the stress. Could be. Snake, do you hear something that sounds like a song? Yeah, I do. I started hearing it a little way back. What could it be? Hurry ahead, Snake. The underground base is to the north, isn't it? Hurry ahead, Snake. Meryl is acting kind of strange. It could be the stress of battle. I have a friend who had Chechen syndrome. He became depressed six months after returning from Chechnya and took his own life. He was forced to fight people who spoke his own language, people with his own culture. Language. He couldn't live with the guilt of it. 
It sounds like boss music. Post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of veterans returning from Vietnam suffered from that. In fact, many still do. Yes, it is also similar to the Afghan syndrome. In Meryl's case, it is probably a much more short-term condition. Try to cheer her up. She'll come out of it. Yeah, just try to cheer her up. Just uh, tell her a joke, Snake. It'll be fine. That inner voice that warns you when danger is nearby. You can't learn that in training. You've got to have survived a few firefights, seen a few friends blown away, before you learn that trick. <laughs> oh, um, can we call Otacon right now? I know Otacon doesn't usually have a lot of calls for stuff. Get to Metal Gears on yeah. Herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Meryl is definitely not herself. Could she be dragged? Could she be drugged? Could she be dragged? I could probably drag her. Just, just being control. break her bone. You're an expert at unarmed CQB, right? Stop her without using your gun, that's all. But have you dragged her Snake. recently? Well, no. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up? Hotacon, what do you have to say about this? Someone else must be controlling Meryl. Do something, Snake. Save her. What am I supposed to do? I don't even know where he is. He's probably somewhere close by. He's just invisible. How? Of course. Stealth camouflage. A technology I developed. Stealth camouflage works by bending the light around the user in such a way that they're rendered nearly invisible. But if you had thermal goggles, you'd be able to see him. Anyway, you can't see him with your naked eyes. But there must be some way to make him show up. Thermal goggles, you say? I got those. Ow. Stop that. How you do it? There we go. Got her. Naked <laughs> eyes. It's always naked. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You. Me. You doubt my power. I thought he was bowing. Now I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. <laughs> he delivers that one every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. Uh-oh. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're Oof. a poor warrior as well. Oh, no. He knows. You are skillful at eluding traps. Aha! Still don't believe me. I 
did that. Sorry, this is a PS3. You're gonna have some trouble. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have saved often. You are a prudent person. That's Kojima right behind Mantis. Like is it? Book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Uh oh. Play along at phone. Play along at home, folks. Put your control on the floor. Okay. That's good. All right. Now I will move your controller. No way. By the power of my will alone. No way. There's no way he can do that, right? Oh my God, guys, it's moving. It's moving. I'm swear, I'm not touching it, guys. It's moving. Can you feel my power now? How do you do that? A demonstration. There's no way, it's gotta be mind powers. Sorry, is that really loud? <laughs> oh, he turned off my TV! Oh, I gotta get the remote. Okay, no, he turned it back on. That Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic, his powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Don't peer into the darkness. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. Somehow, you gotta get around him. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think, there must be some way. So we can't read my controller's moves? A psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. Switch to keyboard and mouse. Psycho Mantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. You got a 360 no scope in snake. No response from Mayor right now, of course. Stealth camouflage works by. It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. But you've got more battle experience. You can do it, Snake. Yeah, you're right. I'm experienced. Did Mei Ling have anything to say about this? Are you hurt, Snake? No, just that. I'm trying! I've got it! Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. <laughs> oh yeah, Pixie. I've got it! So yeah, if you call Colonel enough times, he will tell you how to do this. But there is another way to do it. And that's, um, there are these statues around that are, for some reason, statues of Psycho Mantis. And, uh, I guess Psycho Mantis hates pictures of himself. And so, you can...
can break the uh, the statues, which will make him vulnerable to attack. Oh no, not this. Uh, this controller port two. Oh no, I can't read! Ow. Oh, whoops, uh, I gotta put these on. I'm gonna die. Oh, my TV! Hold on. Uh, which was- oh! Okay, we got it. My Streamlabs broke? <laughs> Are you- you're just- you're messing with me. Where'd he go? <laughs> Why?! Right in the statue while he's using it. This attack can't hit you if you're crouching. Oh. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Player one and player two control snake. Yeah. You don't want to choke her because you could accidentally kill her. You are powerful indeed, but I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Don't do it. Stop, Meryl. No, I cannot be. No. no. I can't believe you punch a woman! Whoa. Get him during this attack? Oh, duh. With the thermals. Where are the bullets? Um. Oh my god, I ran right into it. You do that just right, uh, at just the right position, you can actually knock him right back into the chair. I'm so sorry Your niece is about the okay. vibration being super loud. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't <laughs> like, mean he doesn't have a yeah, heart. You're it's a okay, big Meryl. asshole and I hate you. She's right. 
So, you used the other... I, I wasn't able to read the future. <laughs> A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past. <laughs> the not past frozen glaciers, otherwise known as uh, oceans. Of men and women. Oh, gross. <laughs> and each mind hey, calm down, he's not that bad. Into ...was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. Gene. Not to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you, you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. Sounds like he should have dove into the mind of a therapist. And he my friend, guys. For it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. World is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. <laughs> Shut up, Meryl. Time left. This guy's cool. Don't ruin this. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. <laughs> At this point, we should give it a medical treatment. Never mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Eleven. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? <laughs> yes, a large place. A large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. They do not. I have a last request. They are broken up what by the it? next game. My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want.
He's like, dang, I guess I should have been a good guy. <laughs> Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. <laughs> you're right. Always so supportive, Snake. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name. <laughs> Snake's like reloading and like aiming his gun How to avoid old enough making to eye contact. Like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Even Meryl's health increases. Plug controller into controller part one. What if I don't wanna? Travel alone. I thought you might have gotten a call. Oh no, that's in a different game. Music is distorted. Wait, what's happening? So you're saying this one up here is Kojima? Are you sure? That doesn't really look like Kojima. Was that confirmed? This looks like uh, Sokolov. No, not Sokolov. Uh, Granin from MGS3. It's Kojima in the GameCube version. Yeah, I don't think that's Kojima. That looks more like um, the guy who played the Green Goblin. Uh. Oh my God. Um, what's his name? I can never remember this actor's name, but I—he's a great actor, and I like him. Willem Dafoe. Thank you. In the remake, it's Kojima, okay. Yeah, it's because um, it's because of the delay changing. So yeah, you can you can break the um, the face bindings on the statues. I don't know why he has like statues of himself in here if he doesn't like his face. And also, this isn't his office. But I think they just had to come up with some way. For you to do that if you for some reason couldn't change the controller port. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Yeah, I was actually thinking of uh of signing off after that. That's a that is a good place to end it for today. Oh yeah, commander room. <laughs> I guess they had like a a uh a limited amount of text they could put into that. So we're in commander room. We'll do some more codec calls and then we'll sign off for today. Oh, Steph's streaming? Looks like Meryl's That's cool. okay. Thanks, Snake. Yeah, maybe we'll raid her. Snake, there's no time left. You've got to hurry up and get to the underground base. How can you we should save be able Meryl? to go north from the commander. <laughs> Natasha's all like, Ugh. I hate you. No, not Natasha.
Naomi. I hate that they both have end names. It is so ironic. People are working as slaves to pay for weapons. really far to make it in Mantis in one sitting isn't easy. Thank you, Cookie Man. Not exactly playing in the highest difficulty, but. It is madness. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it hasn't been uh, too much of a slog. In the 20th century, in order to be a military superpower, you had to first be an economic superpower. But things changed toward the end of the century, after the collapse of communism. With all the surplus weapons and technology floating around, even economically weak countries could have a powerful military. According to the military doctrine, which is the basis for NATO expansion, a preemptive nuclear strike may be undertaken if there is a sufficient threat of a regional conflict spreading to a large-scale war. In the face of all this NATO expansion, Russia might feel the need to flex their nuclear muscles, if only to show NATO that even with their aging arsenal and diminished army, they are still a major power. Russia could no longer pay enough money to its leading scientists, so they sold their weapons and weapons technology to the highest bidders. NBC weapons flowed into the hands of dictators and terrorists. The military balance of the world crumbled. The world has never seen the balance of power shift so quickly and dramatically. <laughs> he, he really does. Pixie, I was, I was saying earlier, I, I don't know if... if uh... I don't know if you're here for this, but I was saying, uh, Nastasha, when she's not talking about story stuff, she might as well just be Kojima. Otacon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons in a virtual simulation without ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Since the establishment of DART and NEF early in the 21st century, there has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. The DART Archie. In order to collect data for the simulation experiments, they are doing subcritical tests underground. Those are experiments in which they detonate high explosives in proximity to plutonium without setting off a critical chain reaction. They then measure the effect that the shockwave has on the plutonium. By measuring the particles which fly off the surface of the plutonium, they can learn the mass, speed, and distribution of the plutonium particles. The politicians insist that whether it is above ground or below ground, a nuclear test which does not cause a nuclear explosion is not a nuclear test, and therefore does not violate the CTBT. A lot of people do not agree with that interpretation. <laughs> a lot of people. Hmm. <laughs> Would that happen to include you, Nastasha slash Kojima? The first subcritical test was performed on July 2nd, 1997, at the Nevada Nuclear Testing Facility. After that, subcritical testing became extremely common, not only in America, but in Russia countries too. They say that the reason for the tests is to ensure the safety and reliability of the existing nuclear stockpile, but that is nothing more than a flimsy cover story. In reality, the danger of a nuclear weapon exploding accidentally decreases over time. It is clear that the real reason for these tests is to aid in the development of new types of nuclear weapons. Even the government admits that the data collected from those tests is used in virtual reality simulation tests. That is amazing. Dr. Emmerich's father participated in the Manhattan Project? That was the secret world no, war II grandfather. project responsible for the creation of the first It was his grandfather. Bomb. It had a huge budget, something like two billion dollars. They brought in 120,000 of the best and brightest scientists and engineers to work on it. And we all know how that story is. I can't have bad, it's July good you remember standing in a sofa. They yeah. the first nuclear device at Trinity followed shortly after by Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Trinity, the world was changed forever that day. 
scientists and researchers could no longer pretend that their hands were clean of blood. Afterwards, the leader of the Manhattan Project, J. Robert Oppenheimer, said, The physicists have known sin, and this is a knowledge which they cannot lose. Um, I forgive it because all of these are optional. You don't have to... These aren't part of, like, story cutscenes. They are, you want to call Nastasha because you want to hear more about nuclear weapons. That's the... That's the only reason you would be getting these calls. So yeah, there's there's really no reason to be mad at this. I have not, Pixie. Cranky Kong calling DK's grandson. We all know that it's his kid. When Dr. Emery designed the new Metal Gear prototype, he thought he was creating a mobile TMD system. He is a very naive man. <laughs> TMD stands for Theater Missile Defense. They represent a shift in the Sweet, I'll check that out after the stream. From dealing with Thank the you. threat of ICBMs from the former Soviet Union to dealing with small scale regional conflicts in the third world. Current TMD systems work by a combination of THADS, Theater <laughs> High Altitude Air Defense, Chads. which intercept missiles outside of the atmosphere and Patriot-type missiles, which intercept missiles within the atmosphere. Dr. Emrick was planning on them using Metal Gear as a low-atmosphere, mobile, missile interceptor unit. There are many in Russia, as well as America, who a lot are of these. the TMD systems because they say that it undermines the spirit of the ABM, the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty. And there are also those who say that the ABM Treaty is a dinosaur left over from the Cold War. They argue that the strategy of MAD should be maintained by limiting missile defense systems. There was a big debate over it, but ultimately, under pressure from the defense industry, who was looking to expand into new markets, TMD systems were accepted as an integral part of a modern military arsenal. When Dr. Emery designed the new Metal Gear prototype. Oh, okay. Got to the end of that. Nastasha exists for the nerds. A psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. Are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people happy. It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Snake, metal. Yeah. Miller, talk to your dad. Psycho Mantis, what a pathetic man. He was born with all the right tools, but he never knew how to use them. <laughs> That's cold, Miller. That's cold. The tongues of dying men enforce attention, like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. She said the lie. All right. Nick, don't give up. That's going to be it for today. We're going to be back with more Metal Gear next Monday. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we're going to go find a friend to raid. Speak only the truth. Need to clean off these five people. We do. We need to, we need to get clean. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Steph is playing some uh, Story. Fist of the North Star, uh, which is definitely going to be good. So uh, yeah, we're going to go from one Japanese anime to the next. <laughs> Take that, Twitch chat. <laughs> Oh, are you looking for, um, for 
Quote 113, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I do. I do love you all, and I'm so glad that I can share these games that I love so much with you. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Tomorrow we'll be back with some new Super Mario Bros. That's a much more chill stream where we're just hanging out, shooting the shit, and uh, and trying to find some star coins. Um, so, yeah, hope you'll join me for that. I uh, I'm glad that. Uh, that this game is just as entertaining and fun to stream as I remember it. I'm glad Metal Gear Mondays are back, and I hope you are too. That's all I get for you today. Bye-bye. <laughs>